What's up, what's up, what's up? It is TTC, aka the Thunder Conductor, and we are back for more gameplay, MTG can play. We just got done doing our Linus deck tech, and so now we gotta get in and see if everything, the big talk, matches the walk. So with that being said, if you're on YouTube, make sure you subscribe, like, and ring the bell. Why aren't you already doing it? Same thing if you're on Twitch. Make sure you hit the follow button and ring the bell. We are we uh, we make sure to do our live streams once a week, every Saturday evening around 8 to 8.30 time. But if you just want to get the notification pop up, make sure you hit also the, the, the ring the bell notification. Uh, and also, if you're looking for other ways to support the channel that are not free, we do have our Thunder Conductor proxies that allow us to uh, me to increase access to the amazing format called CDH. Not to mention, we also have our Discord that's open for everyone to join. But if you just want to look for a way to get deeper access to the Discord, including including getting additional perks, um, we can check also check out our Patreon that allows you to do deck texts and get shout outs and all those amazing things. Shout out to our first Patreon subscriber, Dre. He is the GOAT. I appreciate it and without him we would not be able to do what we do uh here on the internet and lastly if you say in ttc i don't care about patreon and discord and proxies and i just want to say for the one time for the one time that you really dope and i want to support you go check out the link in the bio and allow you to just buy me a coffee it keeps light uh keeps the lights on allows us to keep doing what we're doing but with that being said we're going to jump right into some gameplay what's up fellas hey, hey. how y'all feeling it's doing fucking amazing. So he just he just had the nuts draw. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, I, I didn't know if you were about to say something crazy. Uh, before we say anything, are you okay with being on my stream? I'm live streaming right now. Oh, yeah, no problem. Okay, wait, wait, wait. okay, yeah. You could curse, but I, I didn't know if you were about to say some crazy shit because you said nuts. I was like, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> All right, but go ahead, bro. He just had the nuts. Go ahead, bro. Yeah, 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 man. He just, he just went off. 10 2 with protection. Oh, shit. What do you have? Uh, way too much matter with an infinite oh, it outlet. Was it was nuts. It was turn one. Uh, <laughs> it was turn one, Jewel Lotus Island, Mana Crypt, Mana Vault, Treasure Map, Pass. Turn two, Reshape for two, uh, Swan Song. Swan song me, tried to swan song. I uh, had scribed chain of vapor to the bottom and top deck to stubborn dial, so I stubborn dialed the swan song because I had the four four. God. And, damn. and the fourth player had the swan song. It was player four that had swan song, and then I uh, had power artifact in hand, so I got the I had two two blue up to cast the power artifact on the grim. Oh my gosh, that's so fire! Absolutely nuts. I don't think I've gotten the. A win that clean and fast in a very very long time. I don't think I've, I've never gotten turn one. I have that's, one turn two though. No, that's that's crazy. Um, have you added the new blue creature that uh, combos with uh, basalt? Yep. Dude, yep. Uh, I saw Eisenhurst's video and I was like, I think it, yeah, I, I played against you uh, on Urza, but every Urza player I know, I was just like, bro, I know y'all happy about this one, bro. Like, oh, dude. It, it combos with a lot more than just that and it and it opens up it makes like my zero drops potentially draw cards now oh man that's is, so fire i'm happy for y'all i'm gonna be honest i am brys are you playing marnius bro yeah fire i fuck with it bro um I uh, what's it called? I recently dropped a video of like maybe not recently, like two three weeks right before I top forward at Mox Masters, dude. That deck is fucking awesome. I love it. I think, it, I think it's one of the slept the most slept on commanders ever, bro. Fucking love Marty's dude. Yeah, but he, he's got some real gas in the last few sets, really. Big facts, man. Honestly, ever since they dropped uh, what's it called? And I grant it came out before, but once they made Smother and Tive, I think I don't know what they were thinking when they made Marty's at that point. <laughs> Fuck, man. <laughs> Dude, my, my monitor's tweaking. What the? Take your my time. screen's black, but like I can hear y'all. It's all good. Take a second. You good? Uh, while we are doing this though, can you give us a uh, shuffle up riser? Yeah, let's do it. One, two, three. Cool. Don't turn one us now, Urza. <laughs> this is looking familiar. <laughs> Get, we'll give Kai a second to get uh shuffle yeah. to get his my, screen right. Yeah, no rush, bro. Yeah, I'm just gonna check my first sure doing, So, hmm. 
This is now. How the fuck did I get to my login screen? What did my computer do? You good, bro? Take your time. If, if you gotta re like, you got if you gotta cycle the computer, turn it off and on. I don't mind waiting. It's okay, bro. I'm gonna check my second step now. This is not playable. Yeah, you're gonna have to look in a second. Oh, did seven. you throw your commander in visor Who's... and yeah, everyone's oh uh, yeah. Reesh. Alright. Uh yeah. My computer's no uh, longer. Three, one, two. Uh yeah. Okay. Check this second uh, out. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. We restart oh, my uh, this is more, real quick. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. Yeah. This is not good. I think I gotta go down to six. This is not good. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. <laughs> It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll yeah, be fine. Six. No, it's, it's, no, I believe in you. I it's believe. dog water. It's like two lands, I, two fetch lands, an offer, Praetors, two what? Uh, Fierce Guardianship, Demir, Signet. And the problem is it's a fucking Signet because I could hold up offer for a turn two, but the fact that it's a Signet, is, I can't even. I'm going to be turned off for turn two. So, nah, I'm going to throw this away. Check my six out. I'm gonna try this. It's okay. Okay. I'm gonna leave it up to the top picks. Should be okay. Uh, I don't know how I feel about this. Here, I don't know how I feel about this. I really don't, honestly. Um, this just makes me weird, feel weird, dude. Yeah, dude. It's making me feel uncomfortable. Yeah, dude. <laughs> um, I wish this was okay. Keep, keep. Keep, 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 and keep, do I? I think I have to do that thing, though, because of that, yeah. Why do I gotta be going fourth? <laughs> I think so... I have to bottom that card and let me see. Yeah, hold on, give me one more second. Um... Yeah, yeah, I think that's the move. Because I can then, uh, yeah, that's it. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna bottom this one card. I'm gonna take a picture of my hand real quick. When you're using your cell phone as your webcam camera, and so you can't <laughs> fucking. You, know, you, you pull can't. the iPad out for the camera. Yes, literally. I'm literally pulling my iPad <laughs> out to take a picture of my hand. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I see how it is. Oh god, it's I mean, fine. I, I, at this you're point, all old. You're all <laughs> old. All y'all old as fuck. Yeah, I, I gotta take a picture of this hand because I, I want to see how this one does later. Okay. All right, I will keep Older this six. Oh. I'm gonna bottom this one right here. Uh, I'm gonna update my deck, but it is what it is. Yep. All right, I need pre-games. Uh, nope. pre-games. I'm good. Uh, hmm. yeah, I have a gemstone. I'll pitch a furlong. Sounds good. Yeah, you good to go now? I'll go to draw. Yep. Sounds good. I'm 
Hey, Ted, we can't you, bro. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Oh, okay. The top deck. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Any top deck mana creep would just be doing stuff like that, you know? Yep. It'd be like that sometimes. Not for me, though. I don't, I don't drop mana crypt. I drop basic forest. <laughs> and they're not be sad, but... <laughs> Pass on Chromox. Yep. Pass on Chromox. Alright, we're Chromox. Pass. I'm not going to nix your Chromox. <laughs> um, there's not. A, I don't know how relevant this is, but I don't see. Yeah, just imprint the whole big board. Yeah, all the dock sides. This, this, this spot. Oh <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. What is here. that? The copy of the ETBs? Yeah, that's not gonna be no good yeah. in spot. Uh, cast an arcane signet. Pass on arcane signet. We're good on arcane. Yeah. I'll pass. All right. Untap upkeep, and I will draw one. Okay. Hmm. I will. Shit, yeah, these are top decks. Damn. That's either good or bad, and I don't know which one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, play a Marsh Flats, and I will crack a rule. The Marsh Flats. And I'm going to go get a. Let's just get a. Yeah. A Bayou. And uh, I would just fast track tap the Bayou to cast an Imperial Seal. Is that okay? Yeah. Well, I got a response to Imperial okay. Seal. Okay. If Imperial Seal is okay, uh, I'm going to get the Bayou, put the card on top, and just cast a JLo. And if JLo resolves, I'm going to pass turn. Yep. Yep. Y'all are good. I'm yep. going to go get my card real quick. of the bayous. Tap bayou, and then I'm gonna go look for, go get a card and put it on top of my library. This card on top of my library. That's my hand. And I'm passing. Yep. <laughs> All right. I'll get a draw. Uh, scalding Taunt. Crack that. Mm -hmm. Or a Tundra. And then I'll be fast tracking and putting a Mystical Mortar on the stack. Oh my gosh. They'll, oh my gosh. <laughs> Turn <laughs> order. Roll. That's what I like to call. She, you might get draws anyways. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, if I was first, I would have been very happy. Oh my uh, gosh. Man, that would have, oh my gosh. I have no nah, response to fish, my guy. Awesome sauce. Uh, I'm going to res... Yep. God pass on fish. I have no response yeah, to it. I'm going to... <laughs> the Earth Act, in fact, is not like the fish. No, I'm gonna show you the pause, man. <laughs> yeah, but that, that gets it. Yeah, awesome. pass on um, mental misstep. Yep. Am I good to go? Sounds yep. good. Yeah. Pretty beast draw. Uh, play a Tarnished Citadel. I'll play a Jewel Lotus. I'll crack Jewel Lotus for Lana's. Pass on Lana's, dude. Yeah. Yep. Uh, pay one colorless for a soul ring. Pass on soul ring. Yep. Tap soul ring for uh an arc bound ravager. Oh, this is infinite, right? What kind? No. <laughs> I I wish, but no. Hold on. Uh, Lonus is not an artifact creature. Plus, I I don't have. I would need another Lonus. Hold on. 
on a second. So this says, uh, I would need another one of those. All right. Yeah. One second. How do you spell Ravenger? So I just don't know how to spell R A R A V A G E R. Okay, I just remember this is second artifact and that's the module thing. I'm just gonna admit, I have that memorized. F it. Yeah. Um, I, uh, how many cards do you have left in hand? Two. And this one just says second artifact and put a plus one plus one counter on itself? Yes. And, and Lonus is not an artifact creature, so I can't put the counters on it. Right. Uh, I think, um, I am still gonna mind break trap this. Sure. It is I'd a much, cool piece. I, I do like I just I think that's the right move. Much rather hit this than something else, but yeah. yeah. If that's okay, I'm gonna pass on everything else. Is, yeah. Which suck if Urza Turbo's out of fucking what's yeah. it called, but <laughs> it, it oh, wind? It yeah, I'm passing by the way. Uh, yeah. Ted. I'm sad. I'm wrong. He did stop a fish, so this may be a win. We'll see. Learn the hard way, right? Or they just don't like fish. Both of these are <laughs> Those are very, both very true things. I'll cast a treasure map. Pass on treasure map. Pass. I have three cards in hand. I'll pass. This is the pay one, scry one, put a landmark counter. Yeah, after three, I get three treasures what? and it puts into the land, yeah. Oh. What does the land do? Is it in the, like... Yeah, uh, sack of treasure, sack draw a card. card. Back, draw, or yeah. treasure, yeah, draw cards. Alright, untap, upkeep, I would draw one. I will play a... Manamo is my land for turn. I'll tap two and I'll cast a talisman of curiosity. Is yeah. okay? That's all good. And then I'll just... doesn't have haste in in the event that there's going to be infinite ness of the what's a cause going on i will crack j-lo uh and i'll exile these three leaving just the imp seal and i will just cast mr cast tassiger yep if that's okay i'm gonna pass turn yeah yeah passiger the turn <laughs> tassiger <Yeah>. passiger <laughs> yo Okay. All right. That's a that's, a, that's definitely a draw that I could draw. <laughs> the cards in my deck. I'll play a lotus petal. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> I'll pass. Yeah. Uh, instead of activate the treasure map. Yep. That sounds good. Interesting. Where? Why is it my? Never mind. Sure. It's good there. I'll go to untap and draw. Mm Internally for a little bit. Hold on a second. Uh, now it works. Okay. Give me one second <laughs> as I get my life together. The old man uh, was having some technical issues. <laughs> All right. There we go. All right. Untap, upkeep, and I will draw for turn. I will.
Uh, give me a cards check in everyone's hand. Uh, it's always visible for me. It's right below the card in the back. I got and four. four. I got seven. Okay. I will tap a green. Okay. Um. Let's. Green, blue, one, and I will cast a Oko Thief of Crowns. You know, that's a pretty good card. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. a solid card. It's a solid card. It'd be pretty uh, awesome, Solace, if you uh, didn't hit my Lotus, though. So. <laughs> <laughs> Is uh, Oko okay? Yeah, I think it's okay. That okay? Yep. Okay. He will enter in with four counters. I'm going to uptick yep. him to five counters. Well, let's, let's chill out here. Let's um, we can talk about this. I'm actually going to do something spicy. The control deck is making me feel uncomfortable. Uh, and I'm going to turn Ted's arcing signet to a 3-3. Three, three. I'm going to respond. Okay. I'm going to activate the treasure map. Sounds good. Yeah. You got the trick bind? Let me keep this on the bottom. I'm gonna cast a dramatic reversal. Okay. Uh, reversal. I will pass on dramatic reversal. Yeah. Uh, I'll pass my guts for me. Yep, I'll pass. Drama. I'd like to activate the arcane signet and activate the treasure map. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. How many counters does it need to flip again? It'll flip right now. Okay. okay. <laughs> so yeah uh create three treasures oh yeah and that's just gonna become a three three okay well with that being said yep. uh pass spicy spicy it is spicy I think mine was spicier than yours. So. Oh, one billion percent, bro. The the the. I'm so glad I forced that interaction at sorcery speed. Like, but at the same time, I'm kind of seeing like, ah, he's still gonna get hers out. I gotta. Oh, pass most brothers can do all of that. <laughs> yeah, I'll pass. I pass. Most brothers get Ah, pass. All right. Untap. Rough for June. Uh, you know, I'll just play it. I'll play an H with him. Tap for five. Floating one. Play a Sakashima of a thousand faces. Now we lose. <laughs> no, I need the stack outlet now. No, like, cause doesn't this just go infinite? Ah. Or... I need the sack outlet. Or I need the sack outlet for my clues. That's the... Wait, yeah, this... that's why you mind break trap the the good card. Oh, so I was smart. I was smart. Okay. Um, the good card. Wait, wait. So the wait. So <laughs> just, just so like I understand this. Right. Smart. No. Um. With this being said, hold on. Um. If I'm understanding this correctly, it basically goes. How does this work? So Sakashima will enter as the second one. Right. Um, whenever I crack a clue, I make two clues pretty much. Oh. And yeah, because they can put counters on each other. So So it doesn't yeah. go infinite right now. It just if you get a sack out, it'll lose though. Yeah. I have to pass yeah. on that. I already did my contribution by mind break trapping, so <laughs> Yeah, so Mono Blue Deck, would you like to respond? <laughs> no, no, I'm passing. It's already passed. 
You have one card. And, I mean, uh, you got one card in hand, bro. And you're good. Yeah. All right. Uh, I would like to make a second one. Mm hmm. Now, if he has that outlet, we gonna be fucked, but I was like, fuck it. It's okay. Uh, I mean, so how many creatures does everyone have? I have one. So, one, one, one. Damn. I hate oh, I got a scry here. Wait, why is the scry? The, 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 I didn't scry for the third, the flip. I just made the treasures. Oh, got you. Mm. Okay. Uh, I'm fine with it mm. this time, but I will say next time. I'm, I'm gonna count that as a miss, but I, yeah, I'm, I'm not actually tripping on that. That's I'm fine. Test. I'm test. You say you just passed it. May, right? Like... Yep. It's your I have to. There's no May on the screen. It, ha it has to. No, yeah, you good. Yeah, you good. I'm giving you a hard time. I was my bad. I didn't do I'm a very good job making sure that make sure that was a joke. Nah, dead serious. Dead serious. Miss trigger, trigger. Fuck you. Going. Tournament play. <laughs> <laughs> but even if dirt puts, I don't really know. If like, um, okay. Nah, sometimes like people actually care. be dickholes about that shit, but at the same time, it's like it's fine. Bro, there's people in this server that do that in like casual games. Like, actually, calm down. It's not that serious. Like, like someone I, it was like a really like complicated stack interaction and someone was like i actually missed my wrist exterior trigger and then this person like um actually it's a may trigger so you don't actually have to go on and i was like Yo. <laughs> you know what dog fine fuck it fuck it fuck it i mean it's, I a, game, to... it's a game state action checking so we all technically have to ha have to check it yeah yeah it's just the thing, like we all have to be like we pass on the ability and the fact that nobody. Yeah, it. it I'm not gonna get into that. It's it. It is what it is. Fuck it. We ain't gotta worry about that right now. Um, okay, so are you passing after the? <laughs> yeah, I'm passing. You're good. Could have guessed. Are, are you gonna cast uh, first? Yeah. Who would have thunk? <laughs> Dramatic reversal getting me out of a bind or anything. Doesn't yeah. it cost four or what you did? I mean, oh, you trapped the other land. Uh, you two lands, pro yeah, mux, yeah. and a treasure. Excuse me. Ooh. Wait, what's that art? That's a construct, okay. Yeah. I don't know why. Uh, imposter mech? Yeah. Would you, would you like a bonus? <laughs> 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 no, nah, definitely not. Yeah. Oh. Uh, you can draw, you can draw by. You're down. You're down when you mad. I have to pass on imposter uh, mech. Yeah. Cool, it'll be a tassy. Oh, a tassy? Whoa. Okay. You sure you don't want to look? <laughs> I was thought he was going to go for the Esper Sentinel. Uh, yeah. I don't know why I would want to loan this, but. No, I thought he was going to go Esper, but okay. He has a plan. Let's see. So you have a tasker now. I'm passing on that. You're good. Pass. All right. Yeah. Untap. Upkeep. And I will draw one. That is the correct amount of cards you draw in your upkeep with no other effects. <laughs> or in your draw step with no other effects. I will. Let's see. It's actually kind of sad, man. No cap. No land. Uh, cards in everyone's hand. <laughs> three. He, he's. I. I got it. You've been missing land drops. Uh, three, one. Uh, Yo. I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna uptick. Um, Oko to six, and I will hit the Urza. 
if that is good, past turn. Well, actually, no, I'm gonna first, I'm gonna go to second main phase and I will go for swingies. That's crazy. You don't do that in your second main phase, so you, I'm do that like, my, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to combat, I'm going <laughs> to swingies. <crazy>. Uh, <laughs> How big? Let's see. Da, 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 da. I got two one twos. Two one twos. Um. <laughs> I'll just leave it on tap. There's no reason to play to play games. Pass. Yeah. <laughs> Not play games while we're playing the game. Isn't this beautiful? No, I ain't playing no games with my games. <laughs> Peace out, I'll EDH. For it. Uh, I'm gonna play this uh, this Ken and Bonder Prodigy. Ooh, that's fun. I'm gonna pass on Ken and Bonder Prodigy. Yeah, I'll pass. Oh yeah. All right. Uh, ETB. I'll have two evolve triggers. They'll both get a counter, and I'll make two clues. For three, four, five, six, seven, take two. Uh, do a pin and flip. Pass on it. Flip it with the cannon. So it's top five. Mm -hmm. uh, I will show this. Uh, hmm. Hmm. I'm going to show this friends of Gash here. Oh, I, <laughs> I know y'all nice. can see him. It's just we just yeah. talked about a kid and flipping it to this stage. It's not a human. It's not a human. <laughs> what is this called? The uh, gadgeteer, the forensic, yeah. yeah, forensic gadgeteer. That's good. Yeah, I'm gonna pass after that. Yeah, it's your go whenever you're ready, Tony. Ow. I just dropped one of my dice on my foot. Yep. Yeah. Tasker, they're definitely on Adnaz, I swear. You know I'm not on Adnaz. Stop playing with me, bro. You know I'm not on Adnaz, Necro, or anything else bullshit like that, bro. Yeah. You Plus, you got somebody like seven drops in that deck. I think Adnaz would kill you for a I would kill, I would flip three cards and go to zero life, bro. You know exactly what the fuck would happen. Yeah. Literally, That's the epitome true. of life, bro. It's just, it's just a very, very, very un series of unfortunate events. Yeah. I was playing uh, the new Malcolm. I had six cards in that, and I had a total mana value of, I think it was like 52. Damn. Uh, What's Oko at right now? Uh, oh, he's at, at six. six. If it makes you feel better, I won't be hitting your stuff anymore. There's nothing really to hit from your board. Nah, they're going to hit the, uh, the impossible. I'm sending man. all of this at Oko. Ooh. That's pretty awesome sauce. How big is the uh, the good guy? There is a 5-5 five, five, and a 3-3. Three, three. Ooh, so you want me to kill your commander. 
yes, they do want their commander back. It's almost like we're playing commander. <laughs> it's crazy. Mm. Nope. Uh, Oko's gonna die. I'm just upset because I, uh, if I would have waited on the mech, I had a win. Yeah. Off the gadgets here being out. Yeah. Which I mean, but that's up, off a I'm pin and flip. I'll you can't beat up yourself on that, bro. It's a pin and flip, dude. You just gotta see the future. You know, it's that simple. Just, just know. <laughs> just. Cast a card in the great creator. Ooh. It's just not very awesome sauce. Uh, you got any response, Tasia? Uh I think I'll just float a blue mana. And I'm passing, yeah. I have nothing to say about this. Um uh, I'll just put an enlightened tutor on the stack. I pass on the light tutor. Pass. Pass. Okay. It's definitely not going to be a matter of. <laughs> uh, um, or something else that makes. Yeah, it's just gonna be Ristic that's gonna end up on the top of my library. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, we're on Karn. I'm passing priority yep. on Karn. And yeah, then I don't have anything for Karn. Used by tapping that. Uh, by plusing card. Oh, cool. So now I have a four or five. No, a actually I have a six six Tassiger. Cool. I'll pass. Untap, upkeep, I'll draw one. That's fun. Play a land for turn and city of traders. This is actually really hard. Um, what is in my deck? <laughs> There's no artifacts.
more second. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Uh, think about a soul from hunger or something. What's going on? You said what? <laughs> You think about so how to solve world hunger or something? What could possibly? Yeah, bro. Like honestly, like I was thinking, like if we just take it one step at a time, it'd be pretty fucking easy. But then I was like, nah, bro. They already tried that shit. We gotta be get like pretty more creative, bro. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, I was looking at my list. Uh, I think I will go to combat, and I'll swing. Mr. Tassiger at uh, Marnius. Yep. I'll take six. No, no. It's only four, dude. Oh, okay. Yeah, yep. yeah he's the one with the six, six, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And then I'll tap for a blue and a green. And I will cast a neoform sacking tasker and it's an additional cost am i cooked are we cooked <laughs> no and would you like to pay the wand uh no it's no reason to you're gonna get the rustic study either fucking way uh pass Is that okay? Yep. Uh, Ted? You there, Ted, bro? Okay. There you go. I'm going to search my library for a creature card where converted mana cost equal to one plus the sacrifice creature's converted mana cost. Put it onto the battlefield. Seven. Then, huh? You get seven. Yeah, yeah, and then put onto the bathroom an additional plus one plus one counter on it, then shuffle your library. I'm gonna look for a seven drop because we have a couple options, but with this in this current juncture, uh, I don't. Yeah, give me one. Yeah, I think there's that. Question yeah, that's what I, I'm. That's what I'm thinking about getting. It's just the tough thing is. Uh, I think we just lose if you get six roll though, because no, it doesn't. You don't lose. It just I won't get smacked for six on Ted's turn. I mean, yeah, you could also just. <laughs> Tox roll isn't a win kind. It's it's like it's like. No, like you took us back for six because oh wait. That, how does corn work? It's until your next turn. Yeah, so it'll get the slime counters, but it won't. Uh, it what's it called? It won't die because by the time it gets back to its turn, it only have three counters on it. Uh, I think Tox was the move. That's something. There's nothing else that I can really fucking do because I would like to draw cards as well. And yeah, I'll put a Tox yeah, on the battlefield. I would like to have my creatures, but I guess not. Uh, and it ends <laughs> with a plus one, plus one counter, and then I'll attempt to move to my end step. Yeah. Uh, all my stuff got to counter. The beginning step, and I think Esper will die. Everything will get a minus one, minus one. Esper, counter. yeah. Esper will die, and I'll make a slug. Yeah. And yeah, everything gets a minus one. If I mean, if it makes Ted feel any better, he'll fucking get his Urza back by the time he gets back to his turn. So. Yeah. It's not making me feel better. <laughs> That's okay. I'm passing turn. Um What cost a gilded drake? God damn. I have nothing yeah. to say about gilded drake. I got nothing. Would you like a talk thrill? <laughs> Looks like the move. Yeah. Yeah. I'm good with it. Yep, yeah. I have nothing to say about that. Tox rule will go bye-bye okay. and I will get a Gilded Drake. 
and then I'll pass. All right. Look at end step and yeah, it triggers. Uh, cannon will die. So that's uh, one slug. Yeah. Am I good to go? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, well, that's definitely a draw. Just does it do what I? Oh yeah, that's pretty awesome sauce. Cast basalt. Uh, yeah, I'll just cast basalt. Oh yeah, yep. game right there. No, there's a card on board. Oh, that's good. Yeah. So it's not game. I just like having the mana. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, cast basalt. Can't make mana with it because Karn's stupid. Uh, that Karn is going crazy right now. I'm not gonna cast. Oh yeah, bro. I make a clue on cast. The wrong color. Go to my end step. All my creatures die. But that my was uh, three. Die. Four. You get three from it. Yeah. Three, four, five. Oh yeah, my oh no at the be, I I fucked up at the beginning of my instep. Oh uh, yeah, you got it. You have an extra yeah. slug for my. Well, the beginning of your instep, my slug died on your turn. Yeah. And my guild leader has two counters on it now. Yeah. Cool. Um. I'm going to animate uh, the basalt monolith. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. Oh, that's not a creature anymore unless you animate it again you're right I'm you crew it. It. yeah you could crew it yeah you could crew. oh no you would need three you would need three power okay i'll pass all right okay so then the guild of drake does yep. The does. So there's nine slugs. All right. Untap upkeep and I will draw one. Oh my gosh. That's zilch. Um. And the basalt monolith has one. Yeah. I'm I'm not gonna be able to use it, and it'll be dead by the time it's my turn. So it's. Yeah. I think what I want to do is just remove Toxril. Dying. Uh, I would love to remove Toxril, just not really an option right now. Um, <laughs> yeah, I can argue that, that was a mistake, but it's fine. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, eh, six. It was seven. unlucky. I'm gonna cast tox rule i mean uh tassiger oh another one another one <laughs> another i'm gonna, I'm gonna cast tassiger yep well actually hold on though this bitch is gonna fucking die hold on fuck, yeah man. it's it's nothing oh. i think we just gotta take the beats oh shucks dude yeah, yeah. i think we just had i think we literally just lose here because yeah, geez, lose. yeah i think he just swings it yeah because yeah. uh yeah i think we lose because because yeah tox rule Yep. Yeah, well, he, it it depends on whichever first happens, whether he go, uh, whether he. Uh... Yeah, 
yeah, let's, let's make them fight it out. But yeah, I think he's just going to swing at the person who's the most threatening and then kill us in that order. I'm going to pass. Yeah, I think yeah. they just hit. Uh, the, uh, uh, so another assault's yeah. the 1 1 now. Yep. Yep. Draw. Um, go to combat. Mm-hmm. Yep. And. No, but if you kill me first, then you're gonna lose the tasker, so. I think they kill Urza first, like, it, that's what I'm thinking. Uh, well, you're probably gonna kill the fucking Karn to unlock their own board. That's what at least I'm thinking. Because if they just have Thassa's consultation and Thassa's pact, they, he knows we don't have shit. Because we ain't draw no fucking cards. Yeah. So, I'll send the. Yeah, the, the, all of these are. Uh... Uh, the Urza player, but the um, eight, no, sorry, seven insects at. Oh, actually, I'll just put eight insects at Khan, just in case you can flash something in. So there's eight one ones coming at Khan. The Toctral, which is an eight eight plus a one one coming at, at your face, Ted. What is, how big is Khan right now? Or is it six? It's a seven. Six. Oh, okay. six. Or wait, six plus one, seven. Okay. Yeah, so I'm just sending one additional attacker at, at Khan, so there's eight. I have nothing to say about that, dude. Yeah, I don't really care. <laughs> I care, I really... but you know, I, I just can't do nothing about it, so. You there, Ted? I, got, I, think he's I don't know what happened. Okay. I got disabled. All right. Ah. Uh. Uh. It bees like this, bro. That I gotta tell y'all something after the game, <laughs> but neither here nor there. Keep going. Did um did you catch that attack or were you DC? Yeah, cars in the yard. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, I wish I had something like great to do after this, but anyway. You can sack a soul just draw a card. Yeah. Yeah. Stick study. Ristic study. <laughs> <laughs> Just yeah, insult to injury. He said Ristic study. <laughs> and then I'll pass. And I think uh, assault. And step, I will crack to close. Yeah. But, yeah. And then the will die. Uh, and then I would like to uh, play a Noxious Rival and my Basalt Monolith. Thank There's you, game. Very trigger. cool. Please play uh, heuristic study. Paying the one. Please pay uh, the one. Please pay the one. Fine. Like at this point. <laughs> I guess I'll pay the one. Is not just good. I have no effects to that, brother. Awesome sauce. It'll go on top. Draw for turn. I'm gonna play this card that y'all had no idea I had. I'm gonna play a salt bomb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have Bang no the one. Please pay the one, bro. Unless you're doing something else, yeah. please pay the one. <laughs> please, please. I mean, even though I am doing something else, I'd... please. Yeah, if you got it, if you got it, but it's like I think it helps the whole table. Yeah, I have no effects to put salt. Pass on yeah. the salt. Ooh. So, uh, it's. Do I just? Hmm. Uh oh wait I don't I count I want to measure it wait oh yeah I'm gonna measure you know uh yeah I'm just gonna... yeah because hold on you, I, yeah okay I'm still paying I'm just I realized I could have I'm just gonna cast one of us okay. I'm good on that. Yeah. Is that like, was there an extra one in there? Nah. I like, cannot pay for this one, sadly. No, I'll pass. Uh, end step, I will go blue, blue, blue for a word of invention for zero. Blue, 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 blue. I f- My tweet here is you would cap no one more than. World of invention for zero. World of invention, and. So, did you do full blue or? He went blue, blue, blue. Oh, yeah, okay. Treasure. So I'll draw for a stick. Uh, well, for a stick trigger, they will pick. Oh, yeah. yeah. 
I'm passing a world of adventure, yeah. my good oh, sir. Yeah. Yep. salt back on board is the question 3 is in fact a still a a tox roll Two, bonus one there right? one no I, like if they're doing this that that means they probably are just yeah. going for it yeah you know what i'm saying i just want to play the game at some point me but. too I mean, yeah, like part of playing the game is going for winning tips. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> we could both be saying the same thing. So, shit. Yeah, Lonis is a zero one, yeah. 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 Figuristic. Yeah. You can draw. Yeah, <laughs> Stasis. Yeah. There it is. Uh, don't want to do it like that. No, there is. Uh, oh, we oh. lost you, brother. Oh. Rest in yeah. peace. <laughs> yeah, the same thing just happened to me. Wait, <laughs> do I want to cast her? No, actually, I don't think I want to cast her. Because he just dies before my next turn. Yeah. Yeah. So I've got to figure something out with this stupid tox roll. I could take care of the tox roll on my next turn. I think oh, I... Gosh. Actually, no, I'm lying. I actually, that was a fib. I apologize for being a liar. No, but like that yeah. incentivizes me to play her, doesn't it? I just thought about it. I'm a fibber. If you want to play your turns, I I think that is the right move. You know what I'm saying? Right next to uh to Linus, y'all. Salute, play your commanders. We're playing commander, dude. Ooh, you could activate Tasker every turn. That's pretty fun. <laughs> cool. Oh, he just give me the arcane signal. Do you think he's right, brother? Yeah. Yeah. Like that. Uh... Trigger. Wrist it. You can draw. Whoa. Okay, hold on. Wrist study triggers on the stack. Hold on. Oh, sorry. Okay. Yeah, hold on. Sorry. Bro, I'm gonna be fully transparent. If you go for the win right now and don't have at least two counter spells, it's not gonna work. And then we're just gonna end up giving Marnie's Calva the game. No, I'm I, not going for the win, dude. We're I mean, so like, why aren't you paying for risk study? That's my question. Uh, I want interaction up. Okay, yeah, go ahead, bro. Yeah, go ahead, bro. Tap upkeep, I will draw one. Oh, uh, I think Lotus is dead, right? Yeah. What's that with? There goes my interaction. It's bad. I'll tap this for a blue and a blue, losing one life, and I'll cast a transmute artifact pain, I wish I had paying, one paying for fucking rhystic study bro 
Yep. For the color as fuck. Well. Yeah, I've got this one against me. Yeah. Alright. It's okay? Yep. Yeah. Alright. Um, so I sack the artifact first. I'll sacrifice the talisman of creativity. And then I'll search my library for an artifact card. I'll put a machine's got effigy onto the field. Do you want like a saw model? <laughs> no. Um, equal to the sacrifice uh, artifacts, I'll pay the additional two to put it onto the battlefield. Colorless and one. And then Machine God Evergy will come in as a copy of Toxro. Damn, so you got all the slugs? Well, no, we're just going to trade, but I'm not, my slug, my Toxro just doesn't go away because it's not a creature. So, but um, it is a Toxro though. And then, uh, <laughs> and then I'll play a That's mox good. diamond, paying for ristic study. Is that okay? Yeah. All right. Discarded gemstone caverns. Yep. And then um, proceed to end step. Okay. Two talk shows. Two um, Toxos, so, so takes... every time, all your slugs are going to die. And then yep. you'll make you all the slugs, 11, and then the slugs will you die. You get 11 slugs. Yeah. Well, no, no, no. no. The, the slugs die at the beginning of the end step, so I'm going to have them for one turn rotation. But is there not the other Toxro trigger that would kill them? No, no, no. It, uh, well, actually, it depends on how they stack, because I'm at oh, the player, so my, mine goes no, off no, first, okay. I kill no, his. Oh, yeah, 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 you're right. Mine goes off, kills his, then his will go off, kill mine. And so we'll end with him having slugs, right? Yes. Yeah. Right. And then his the Toxel also player. gets minus one, minus one counter. So Yeah. So I took the plus one, plus one off this yeah. time. And then all yeah, so all your slugs die and then I get them and then all my slugs die and you get them. I'll be right back. Okay. Oh, I'm okay. oh, and what's it called? Um, Urza gets two minus one minus one counters. And yeah, it's the contract there, as well. It's, yeah. it's, it's, it's... Okay. Okay, so I'll uh, untap. Sounds good. Yeah. Oh, I just want this game to be over so I can, like. <laughs> I'm trying to. I'm trying to. Um... I'm trying to. I'm trying to. I swamp. To play a a model black deck that's not Kennen or not uh, stupid, uh, not Crick, and it's not uh, Micaeus. Uh, I'll go to combat and swing the 11 slugs and the uh, is it 7 7 Toxel? Yes, at, at you, Thunder. All right, so that is uh, 18. Yeah, 17, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Seven, eight. Go down nineteen. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. And then I'm going to unfortunately pass the turn. Mm-hmm. On tap. Oh no, at the beginning, hold oh, no, on, at the beginning of the end step, both yep. Toxel's trigger. So his goes on the stack first. So now you get all the slugs. So now I get yeah. all the slugs, and your Toxel gets a minus one, minus one counter. So it's a six next now. Yep. How many Tox, uh, so how many slugs do you have right now? Eleven. Where it will go 11. up to, four. it'll go up to thirteen. Uh, eleven, twelve, thirteen, yeah, because, uh, uh yeah, because Urza a... and the Construct will yeah. die. So I'll go, I'll make a slug, one, two, slug, one. One. Then I go up to fourteen. Yep. Only thing I feel like I what I my mistake was is because of turn order priority, he's always gonna after this, he'll always end up with the slugs first because mine will trigger always first. Yeah. yeah. Well, no, 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 no. After this, his will trigger first. Yeah, it'll exchange. Yeah. 
No, yeah, because during your yeah, turn, I will trigger turn. first, but his will resolve first. And am, then, I, yeah. am I good to go? Yeah, you're good, bro. Uh, it's so, unfortunate that um, I was in before, front of you, before, turn order. Before my stuff dies, I'm going to activate task. Yeah. Okay. Uh, who are you choosing? Uh, I guess I'll choose Kaya since... Uh... Yeah, they're gonna do their slug thing or whatever. <laughs> we just wanna play with slugs, bro. Bro, you're uh, I will want mill. Yeah, mill two cards, and then we choose a non-land card. Well, they, ch yeah, uh, Kyle will choose a non-land card. So what? What all they do? I think you just give them J Lo. Uh, I'll take key to untap things. Joe Lotus, uh, Word of Invention, Karn, Arcane Signet, Dramatic Reversal. Give them J Lo and keep that shit fucking simple. Yeah, just give them. Nah, but like, if I give you work, you do something about the Tox Rolls or not? Nah? This Tox Rolls. Uh, other than kill. try it's... to copy, he the machine god effigy is like the, probably the best card here. I can't. I don't think I can copy it. I, I, maybe if I have a Phyrexian Metamorph to copy. So, my thing, if I can throw this in there, I do not need, think you need to worry about my Tox Rolls because he's swinging at me. So, it's made it clear Bro. that I need to swing at him. We're not doing like anything, anything against y'all. I don't think you need to worry about the Tox Rolls because mine can't swing. I mean, at I'm anybody. about to scoop out the game because it's just annoying. But, uh, I mean, if whatever card you want to give me, man. I think just. Uh, get, I don't think you give him like a, t a tutor to hand, nah, just because he can get anything. Just give him a J-Lo. Uh, oops. Uh, uh, you can choose. I don't know what to give you. you nah, no, 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 no. <laughs> I, 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 I just give him the J-Lo. No, if you don't know, that's like, that's just. Fine, give, I'll give you, I'll you, give you the worst. I mean, if, you just give if, him the worst thing. Uh, like, if, that's how If it I works. can choose, I'll take dramatic reversal. No. Nah, like, don't bro, get, no, don't this get, game is that's a combo cool. piece. Nah, just give him the Jewel Lotus, bro. Yeah, if you give me the Dramatic Reversal, I win the game, uh, but I'll take the Jewel Lotus. Yeah. Cool. Am I good to go to my turn now? Yeah, yeah sure. All right. Uh, uh, drop. Like, you're, you're like, I get the politicking, but you're also, like, yeah. Ruining the fucking. I stand by what I said. I don't take anything back, brother. Uh, I will play this act against oh, the J -Lo goes so called drone. Figure it I mean, it's just my opinion, bro. I oh, will. Yeah, it's good. Pay for yeah J Lo goes to your hand. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. Yep. Is Agatha yeah, good? good? I'm good with Agatha. You good, man. Alright. Awesome sauce. Uh, and. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh. 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 Green Suns for three. Mm. I'm a cute buck. I don't even know what I get here. I'm just playing it to play it. <laughs> Pass. Uh, no, ex no additional for nah, Rustic. I don't have. Uh, yeah. Yep. And, yep. um. Pass. I will just grab. Damn you, saying green creature, you, <laughs> you, you stupid, stupid card. <laughs> uh, he said, if you could just be a fucking finale, this would be so much easier. Nah, or you could just get me Jew Gilded Drake or something. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't know. Actually, you know what? There's not a green get this. Oh, they need to green be able to make a green guild of Drake. That would go so hard, bro. That would be the most dumb, bro. <laughs> I mean, like, make it worse or some shit. I don't know. I mean, not worse. Make it different. Or, like, instead of exchanging it. I don't know. Just make a green guild of Drake. That'd be hard. Yeah, hard to play with. I would fucking hate that shit. <laughs> I'm going to scramble the old Lona's. Okay. Yeah. And then I'm a. Uh, hmm. I'm gonna tap this, put a uh Arcbound Ravager. Under X under the yeah. Okay. Yeah. This gets a counter. Oh so now yeah. you can sack your artifacts to very good. Yeah. yeah I like I'll that. Pass. I'll pass. I guess 
but that's yeah cool. at the beginning so. of the end step i don't at the beginning of the end step uh tr mine will trigger yours will trigger yours will resolve first you will do you will put you'll kill all my slugs so you'll get 14 slugs but then i'll kill all yeah, of I your know. slugs to get 14 slugs yeah. and get another minus one minus one counter on your um tox rule and then how big is linus right now oh uh, it'll be a zero one after this yeah you're good yep head you'll go i think I'll flip a grip. This is head. Says. I'll take. I'll drop. I'll cast a jewel box. Whoa, uh, on J Lo. I wonder where you got that for him. <laughs> I love not being able to play the game when I can't play the game. <laughs> That's yeah, a static or we're, we're here for a good long, a good time and a long time. Shit, uh, players can't untap more than two permanents time. during their untap step. That sounds good. Shit, I'm having a bad time and a long time. Um, <laughs> uh, static orb be... on static orb on the stack. Uh, I'll try to manage it. <laughs> I'm passing on manager yeah. when he gets cool. the T. Yeah. Yeah. And did you did you pay the one for the draw on the Rhystic? I didn't hear, uh, sorry. Sure. Yeah. You will get three mana, my good sir, on your next turn. Yeah. All right. On tap or in step, do the same exact thing. Uh, this time, Linus will yeah. be killed as well. Uh, so this will one more slug. So we'll go up to. 15 slugs and then I'll untap for a turn. So Tox rolls what? It goes down another, so now it's on minus three because minus one on my turn, minus two, yeah, two, three. It should be on minus four. No, it's minus three because nah, it had one, a plus one, plus one counter. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll untap, upkeep it on draw one. I mean, it doesn't get rid of the counter, it just. No, minus one, minus one counters do get rid of plus one, plus one counters. It doesn't put minus one, minus one counters, but slime oh, counters they give. Oh, you're one fucking one. right. It gives it slime oh, yeah, counters. Sure. You're right. It gives it slime yeah. counters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like just for just for simplicity, we'll keep it there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No, if you're, you can, you're 100% minus there, one, Kaya. minus one. Yeah, you're right. Um, yeah. Draw for two. I, 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 yeah, I have a toxical CDH deck, so Not I'm cool. aware of. I, now I know how it feels to play. <laughs> All <laughs> uh, right. Um. So on my end step, mine will trigger first, and your resolve first. Mine. Oh, you know what? I fucked up. I should be up life. The, um, at the beginning of my end step, mine will trigger first. Your will trigger second. Yours will revolve, resolve first. I shouldn't have got hit for that much life. It's too late now. It's a learning lesson for me. Um. Yep. Because at the beginning of my end step, mine triggers first. Then your goals in the stack, and then yours resolves first killing my slugs and then killing you then i'm gonna kill your slugs yeah that's how it works so i shouldn't have oh, you shouldn't have had God. the slugs last turn but this is a learning lesson if i keep if i go up back to uh, life then it's gonna be it's gonna i'm not gonna learn my lesson so i have to i have to take the damage uh to chin if i if i lose the life loss it's gonna suck balls but it is what it is um i'm gonna go to combat and i'm gonna sing swin 15 Swamp slugs at Marnie's Calgar. Yep. Yo, I'm so happy they don't have Marnie's out. They be drawing like 30 cards a turn. Oh know? shit, you're fucking. Well, no, no, no. It's all one event. It's all one event. Yeah, never mind. Well, no. Yeah, it's no, just no, one. No, 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 no. Is it one event? Yeah. Whenever a creature you don't control with its slime counter and it dies, create a. No, I think these are different events because it says whenever. So. A slime counter would. Uh, okay. Or did they? Nah, no, no. Do they the die simultaneously? Oh, no. How does all that work? The slugs, all the slugs dying will cause fifteen separate triggers of Toxrel. So they'll make fifteen tokens that oh enter one God. after another. So they'll draw fifteen cards. You're fucking right. Yeah, we do have to kill Marnius. Very yeah. simple. Shut up. <laughs> get, get him out of here. Get him out of here. Uh, out of here. I'm gonna go to uh, second main phase. I'll tap yep. a blue and a black and attempt to sack one of my slugs to draw one card. That's okay? Yep. <laughs> draw one. Okay. 
then I will do that. Uh, oh. No, I don't have to do that again. I don't want to know what you're doing with. Um, I think I found a solution to the uh, tox rule. It's cyclonic or overlook. Nah, not with four mana. Um, how much land? What land do you have open right now, Brazer? Uh, two, two. I've got a Vault of Champions and a Swamp. So you just have a black and a black white. Yep. Okay. Uh, yeah. Because now that I think about it, now that you've enlightened me that Marnius needs to be playing Tox Roll, um, <laughs> I'm going to tap for a blue, a colorless. Paying for Ristic <laughs> study, and I will baby cast the Marnius Calgo. I will pa- cast a baby. I told rift. you it was like Clonic Rift. I told you not to I overload told- it, not to over it. But I'm gonna cast a baby rift. Um, no, how does that work? Yeah. No, yeah, because what well, actually? Goes this, your what actually? Do what? Do I do the? Oh no, this for learning. Do I do this at the yeah, during right. the end step in order to get my slugs to be no. untapped? No, you do this now. <laughs> Why? Because uh, all my slugs would, would get untapped then, right? But, because it would kill his. No, yeah, I do. I'm sorry. Can I do this during the end step? Yeah. Yeah. So, because I would go to the end step. His. You all know I have it. Fucking have it. But it doesn't matter. I'll go this to the end step. Has to do as for me and Ted, so I don't really care what you do. Yeah. My, I will go to the end step. Mine would trigger. Then yours would trigger. My 14 slugs would die. You would get 14 slugs, and then my 14 slugs. Will go off again. I'll get the fourteen slugs back, except they'll be untapped this time. Now I actually have fucking blockers because I'm at nineteen life. Then during the end step, before other bullshit happens, and I'll just attempt a baby rift, paying for Ristic study, the uh, tox roll back to my hand. Yeah, you got it. All right, there we go. We did it. Awesome sauce. Okay, I'm passing through. There's nothing else I can do. Okay. Mm-hmm. Just untap two cards. I guess even funnier when you have two tox rolls. Uh, <laughs> that is true. Baby. Is, wait, wait, no, no, you no, make no. twice as many how, how does that work? Is tox roll legendary? It is. Uh, if you get another non-legendary one, you get twice as many slugs. No, no, no. But this is this is a cop. Hold on, a copy. Yes, of it. it uh, it copies the name too, but it. If you had like a spark double, it yes, you can't. Okay, have okay, another. I see what you're saying. Spark double because I'm it's it, not a creature, but it copies the name. Never mind. Yeah, yeah, the card types don't matter, it's literally the name is the only thing that matters. Yeah, 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 you're right. Um, the three, oh, sorry, I've still got one colorless floating because I'm just using two, and I'll just tap white, white oh, for a troubling pairs. Oh, cool. And then I'll pass. Uh, so no, Trouble Pairs is on the stack. Uh, this is that new one that says no extra turns and you draw a shit ton cards every Correct. time we breathe. Yeah, I, it attacks, casts more, draws more kind of thing. Yeah. I'll, I'll you yeah, you so every time cards if I if I play magic is what I'm here right? Yeah. So whenever an opponent yeah. attacks you yeah. or two or two more creatures, you draw. Then uh. It's second spell draw or attacks with two or more creatures. And if draw. they if or if they, they draw draw. If they draw draw, that's good, man. Sec, uh, they draw their second card each turn. That's good. Yeah, pass on that. Yeah. 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 Yep. You know, what I just realized I could have cast Tasker last turn. It was one, two, yeah, wah, wah. yeah. Three, anything. Else? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I could have cast Tasker last turn. Yeah. Uh, anything else? Alright, you're good. Uh, no, that's it. Awesome sauce. Untap. Draw. Damn. I really just drew this, huh? I'm gonna cast an intuition. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm. Oh. Yeah, I'm passing on yeah. intuition when it gets to T. I will pay for Ristics, honey. I appreciate you, my yep. good sir. I will target. Thunder Conductor with the intuition, so yeah. I can. Yeah, you 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 can choose my third. Okay. Yeah, if you get, if you, please don't put me in a position that I have to give you a shitty card. <laughs> please. I'm gonna get a Gilded Drain. Oh. 
I'm gonna get. There's no good hmm. targets for Gilded Drake except one of my one slugs. Yeah, I will get her. That that's a good point. Uh, I will. That shit is just like I will get an Arc Druid's charm. That's very good. I, I like will that. get a. Hmm. I forgot uh, this deck hasn't been fully updated, so yeah, yeah. Uh, I will get the one ring. Okay. And then I will get a. Hmm. What do I want for my third card? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> so. I mean, okay, seems pretty good. Right? Extruder. Extruder. So he gets a combo piece. So which one? I can't give you the Archmage Druid because then uh, you can. Then you don't have a talk through. Exactly. <laughs> um, I either have to give you a combo piece or a one ring, and a one ring gives him more cards, but you have zero cards in hand. I think there's a universe where, because you have one. How much mana do you have on your turn when you untap, or you're in your turn right now, right? Yeah, I'm in my turn now. I, if I crack my prismatic fist, I get. You get what? Four. You have so four. Yeah, four. And you yeah. Oh, you have four mana. Okay. Yeah. And you can sack the artifact. So if I give you the, the thing is though, if I give you the combo piece, you win on your next turn though, like a hundred percent. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Unless we. I. I think you just gave me the one ring. I think his. My other thing is, we're just gonna. How many cards do you have in your hand, uh, Marnie? So I got no cards. No, not not Kalia, uh, Briar. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Um. You good not activating the one ring until Ted's turn, so he doesn't get an extra draw if you draw in two cards in one turn. Yeah. That sounds good. Go ahead. Yeah. And t uh, I have to give you the one ring. That's the only option that's good for me and good cool. for us not losing. This goes to hand. Crack prismatic was to go get a basic island. I'm good on that. Cast. The one ring. The Juan ring. <laughs> Not the one. Okay, so two triggers, Rhystic and Trouble, because that's your second spell. So no. I'm guessing you're not paying for Rhystic. Yeah. And I cannot pay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Is the one ring good? I'm good on that. Yep. Awesome sauce. Uh, past turn. Ted, whenever you are ready to go. I'll be safe. I'm gonna draw. Mm -hmm. So there's no tox roll out? There is a tox roll out. There's one tox roll out. With the machine yeah, that's heavy sheet. There's just one. We have to kill Marnie's before his next turn, though. We have to. Yeah. He's drawing too many cards. He literally can untap. Unless we have yeah, counter magic. Can't do anything. Yeah. I mean, you can activate a uh, Tassiger. Well, he can do that at instant speed because he has a mental misstep yeah. there. He just does it at instant speed, and that keeps uh, that allows him to stay up on his man in hand. Plus, it lets Marnie's know, okay, don't uh, what's it called? Don't um, put any uh, one drops on the stack. And now, yeah, it's just double good for uh, Urza. Yeah.
Here, Miles, how about this? What's up? Just gonna fabricate. I got no response. I have no responses for fabricate. You just search for well, there's a heuristic study, yeah. I'm not paying. Uh, I paying the one. Yeah. No. Okay. Good to go. Yep. 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 Hmm, no ETBs. Okay, that keeps him off Thassas. I like that. Uh, that keeps him off of drawing his whole deck. True, yeah. Because, well, yeah, you with infinite mana, yeah. He could still do treasure bullshit, but yeah. Cast it. Uh, two triggers. Uh, yeah. Risk taking trouble. I'm, yeah, I'm passing on both triggers. I don't have any mana. You're good to go. I got things. Draw two. All good. All right. Um, I will pass. I'm completely F six. All right. Untap. Marnie, the the tasker. I mean, yeah, the tasker triggers, but it doesn't matter. Untap. Upkeep. I'll draw one. Hmm. Let's go to combat. Swing uh, 14 at Bryzer. Go ahead and get your draw for the attack. Mm -hmm. You sure that's worth the two creatures? <laughs> oh, 14? Sorry. I'll be on six, not four. Yeah, I messed up. I should have cast uh, Tasker last turn. I really should have cast Tasker last turn because I would have been able to take him down to two. And that would have taken him off at least Vampiric Tutor and Imperial Sylvie in case he does some shenanigans like that. So it's okay. If we lose because of that, then I, I like it's a big learning lesson for me. Um, I will still, hold on, uh, still during, let's go. Seven, eight, nine, five, six, seven. Yeah, one, two, three, five, six, seven. Yeah, I think that's the right move. Um, yeah. But yeah, I'm overthinking this. Uh, let's go ahead and paying for Ristic Study, cast the Tassiger. Pass. And if that is good, I will pass the turn. <laughs> Going to drop. We'll play a command tower. Mm -hmm. Bro, I feel like I've been dick this whole game. There's two taskers, a con. <laughs> yeah, oh, hey, I'm I'm really sorry. I will have to drop at sorcery speed. This has gone on just a lot longer than I thought. I respect um, that, brother. Sorry, so I'm really sorry. No, I, 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 I wish I, could I appreciate out, the sorcery. I was actually meant scoop. to go about 15 nah. minutes ago. No, you good. I appreciate the sorcery speed scoop. That's very respectable. Thank you, brother. Yeah, yeah, cheers. Yeah. All good. Uh, yeah, hope to play again soon. Good yes, luck. sir. Yep. On the uh, Phantom End stuff, I'll tap one right Yep. Yeah. And then, am I good to go to my turn? Uh, or actually, percent brother. Yep, I will actually uh, tap. I got the Soul Cauldron with no creatures on board, and I will 
Uh, I will put this uh, six shooter underneath us. Oh. And I will go to my turn. Yeah. Untap, uh, upkeep, take one. Hold on, hold on. We're in the in we're still in the end step. Uh, oh, yes, sir. Let's see. How many cards you got in your hand, uh, Ted? Uh, there are six. I think it's like. Uh, I'm just asking how many cards they have in their hand in general. Ted. Uh, oh, just three. three. Okay, I will. Can you, uh, can you not blow my hand to so called friends? <laughs> I don't want to, but I think. I don't think you need to. I don't, yeah. I don't think. No, I don't. I don't. I don't know. Like, I think it's like one of the, like one of those like for the culture kind of thing. Um, you, you could let the get the deck you gave it. You let me give a deck tech to win. <laughs> well, Unfortunately, not like uh, go ahead and go to your turn, my guy. Uh, uh, draw for turn. I wouldn't waste mm -hmm. the cast on Linus. But it's okay if you want to cast Linus into a good old counter spell, but it's on you, Big Pippin. And Toxco's yeah, well, been Toxco's been triggering all these in steps, but nothing's been dying, so just continue. Yeah, nothing's going worth it. It ain't really matter. Yeah. Uh, Purple Herb is just creatures, right? Yeah, creatures in the battlefield don't trigger any abilities here. I uh, I will have one to draw two cards. Sounds good. Damn, yeah, that's that's pretty good. I'm going to play the Sinfornells. Pass. Um. I'm gonna cast alone as. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yep. Is it good? I'm is passing good? a lot. Uh, actually, <laughs> no, I'm not, because we're losing the game on the stack of his resolves. Uh, I'll show uh, you a. Much. You see, I'll show you a force pitching uh pact. You know that's a pretty good idea. I'll show you a force pitch Thrasios. Shit. <laughs> I drew force and Thrasios. <laughs> not bad. Um. Floating a colorless, I will, in response to that, cast a tainted pact. Yeah, you go get that pact mitigation. That okay? Yeah. All right. Uh, it's an offer. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you have one card like left in hand. Yeah. Would you like to give me the two treasures? I think there's a universe where I just keep it fucking simple and do so. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if that's yeah, for it, you and stuff. He has one card left in hand. You have you have zero left mana left? Yep. Zero. You know what would be fucking hilarious if If you let it resolve. <laughs> no 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 no. I'm saying like if I give you an offer you have another counter spell in your hand, that would be fucking hilarious. Yeah. I think that's it just be, fucking that's entertaining. If you got it, bro, that would be extra funny if I told you it was a fierce guardianship and I can't cast it. Yeah, I'm gonna cast an offer you can't refuse targeting your force of will. Yeah, I've got no response. Yeah. I, I was thinking in my head, like, if you had another counter spell on top of all this, that would be the funniest shit on the planet. And I gave you the mana to counter my shit. And I'm like, you know what? Fuck it, bro. Um, move my shit because you can almost see what's in my hand. So, <laughs> gotta... is that the third or fourth cast of what's it called? Uh, third. Okay. Nice. These will cost a pretty penny. We got one more turn. I just got to dig for something to remove the fucking, uh, what's it called? something to counter it again yeah I mean I could always activate t Tasker and, and have Ted just give me the force of will again <laughs> yeah that's true oh that's the wrong my mouse is tweaking let me look at my graveyard you know I'm gonna just pass <laughs> alrighty <laughs> at the beginning of the end step I'll make a slug and your elf will die Yep. Or wait. 
Yeah, I'll activate Agatha's response. But can I look at my graveyard, please? <laughs> oh, there we fucking go. Are you gonna Fuck. put a counter on him? Yeah. All right. And I'm a, I'm a exile. Can I? Uh, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Mr. Big flips himself. Sounds good. Yep. That is a juicy Agatha Soul Gauger, man. No cap. Yeah. All on tap flip. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll be sweet. Yep. It'd be really funny if he just won the game. <laughs> if he got it, he got it. It's like the epitome of like I can I can't stop him. He got it, I can't he got even it. Be mad about it. I can't even be That's what I'm saying. I would not I would not be mad at him if he got it. I mean, I wish, but yeah. I don't wish, but if you do, you do. <laughs> I mean, we already lost the. Uh... We already lost it. I think Urza cost eight. Yeah, Urza costing eight is a bit rough. Yeah. Ice cream soldier in the stack. Ooh. At least we know the dramatic verse was in graveyard right now, right? I can also eat whatever is in grave or no, I can't. You can't I wish yeah, I... you, you, you nom, yeah. nom 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 <laughs> yeah, nom. I have no responses to Isochron Scepter. Yeah. Me neither. Oh, the dreaded Nana Drain under Isocrat Scepter combo. Woo! Hey, combo. It's just me. Yeah, you got it. You got it, Big Pimpy. You got it, my guy. Fuck with me. I'll pass. All right. <laughs> don't fuck with you all at the, end of your, at the beginning of your instep, I will make a slug from your creature dying, and then I'm going to untap and have 15 slugs. Uh, it will not die. I will sack a clue to Archbound Rapture to put another counter on it. Okay. You got that. You got that. Right. You can go with as much as you want. I will try as you must. I will go to combat. You look me like not though. <laughs> I will what? swing eighteen at Ted. Yeah. Yeah. Ted. Yeah. And then I'm going to pass the turn. Damn, for real? All right. Uh, untap, upkeep, take two. Oh, wrong button. Rough return. Probably should have swung at you, but that mana drain just brought Probably. Me I'm not worried yeah, about I'm, it. Oh. Part of me is just like, ah, right, he's drawing yeah. cards. I'm like, I'm going I'm to draw three cards with the one ring. I'm actually fine with that this time. Mm. Now I just have to get you to use the mana drain. Ted is, is he, Ted is a mono blue player at heart, bro. He is not going to fall for that. You cannot bait Ted into that one, brother. Fuck yeah, I can. <laughs> oonk, oonk, oonk. Doubling season. <laughs> what does this do? It just doubles You don't know what counter. doubling? No, I'm this saying like, it, like whenever you add counters to your shield, add double the counters. I have no response to this, yeah. I'm thinking. Okay. It's five mana. You know what you can do with five mana? You can guess the Karn Legacy Reforged. <laughs> How much mana do you have open? I have four mana open. Or five mana open. I wish I had the soul call for you. I'll show you the green. Uh, I'll put an activation on the stack. Yep. I'm going to pass uh, on uh, the copy of Mana Drain. I will hard cast a Fierce on Mana Drain. Mm. Let me 
need double the season real quick. It doubles counters and uh, tokens. If it the effect is... will create one or more tokens under your control, it creates twice that many uh, tokens. Said if an effect will put one or more counters on a permanent control, it puts twice that many counters. Yeah, I pass on the uh, hard cast. Appears you have one mana left, right? No, I got two treasures. Okay, go ahead. Yep. Uh, doubling season. Uh, tap two treasures. Cast a dramatic reversal. Hmm. And then there. this is where I say. Uh, this is where you say you pass and let it resolve. No, because I have an offer. I can't refuse in my graveyard. If I Shit, give me two more treasures, I don't really. <laughs> I want them. <laughs> I'll take them. I make four treasures. Yeah, I hand them over. <laughs> I want them just um... now. I want them yesterday. <laughs> black i mean green blue too um ted if i activate tasker can you give me the offer all right black blue two i'm going to uh activate mill tasker. Two. yep all right i'm gonna mill two demonic consultation <laughs> and morphic bland yeah. so, so you have tainted pack for so we'll offer you camera using demonic consultation I think you have mnemonic consultation, right? Offer okay? Okay. Offer will go to my hand. Would you like to cast an offer you cannot refuse? I'd like to tap to and cast my own mana drain. That's not an offer you can't refuse. Yeah. Yeah. I'd like for you to uh, be tapped out. Yeah, that's that's fair enough. I, yeah. Okay. I'll make two mana on my next turn. Yep. Uh. Uh. I will have soul calls run to put two more. Counters are you sure on. you want? Hold on. Are you sure you're going? You want to use that right now? Because your thing is not going to die. Oh yeah, that's true. You can fair. use that at instant speed. Yeah. I'm saying for both of us. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah check what's in my group here again. Hmm. You can do it now. I just like, I like, cause this yeah. is going to put the third counter on it, but it's not going to kill, it's not going to kill the thing. Right. Actually don't listen not, to me. It's not right. How big is it right now? It is a, it is a three, three when it has no counters. So, Oh, hold on. It wait. will. It will kill it. Oh yeah, then do what you gotta do. Yeah, if you really want that elf that bad, you're good. But yeah, well, I don't want the I, elf. I want the stuff underneath the elf. <laughs> oh, I, I want see the stuff that it also has. I yeah. see what you're saying. I mean, yeah, it's it's up to you. I gotta think though. Uh, hmm. yeah, I'll just go to my stuff and have it that. Sounds good. Yep. Yep. It's the best crypt in the world. <laughs> oh, you let the thing die? Yeah. I'm gonna make it Land one hope. one slug. How many slugs do you have? Uh, fifteen. Yeah. 
pass. Okay. Are you and you make a construct too? Untap. No, I there's a drawer room. Oh shit. Question. Uh yeah, I'm gonna ask it. Why does Urza run Torpor Orb if it's a Nambo? Question mark. And in the- uh, it stops most every. Uh, there's just so many combos. It, just, it stops. And it's it is better to run it and have it stop the ETB than not run it. Like, I would trade lot. Dockside ETB for a construct, honestly. I, I see what you're saying. Orb, so. and my, that makes sense. And my second question is do y'all do the same for Curse Totem? No, I don't run Curse Totem ever. <laughs> no, oh, Curse Totem is actually bad. Oh, <laughs> now thing? you're tripping. Curse Totem is great. No, in this deck, I oh, said. Oh, no, no, no. I'm talking. Yeah. I'm, th- I'm thinking about Urza. Granted, I'm gonna untap upkeep and draw one. No, like I um. Oh, beginning of the end step, one counter on Urza. Sure. I have two colorless. I will. Yeah, the only tough thing about using that fucking mana drain is that now, uh, pretty fucked. Who knows I have an offer, I guess, yeah. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah. It would suck if you forced me to use it, but yeah, it is what it is. Um, use the two colors. Blue, blue. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, cast a Nezahal Primal Tide from the hand. Damn. We really at that point, huh? You hard cast this you're supposed to f- to really Neo Mormon do? <laughs> that okay? I will move to combat. That okay? Yeah. I'm gonna swing uh, 19 at Kaya. Well, actually, no, no, no. I'm going to swing. It's 15. Because your one ring is at how much? Three. 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 So you'll take four. 19. Yeah, no, I just got to do it like this. I'm going to swing everything at uh, Kaya. All right. Well, I got a one. And if that's okay, I will pass the turn. All right. Well, uh, untap upkeep. I will draw four cards just the one ring. This or, is why no, we I'll run draw... Trick Bind. If no, you I ran draw... fucking Trick Bind. <laughs> I will draw five cards because doubling season will put two counters on it. Okay. Well, actually, hold on. Is that work like that? Yes. Yes, it does. I trust you. You've actually been very good on rules. Let me just reread it real quick before you draw the yeah. cards. Oh, my bad. Yeah. Uh, because it puts a burden counter on it, but since it puts one burden counter, it would put two instead. Yeah, because he says, yeah, yeah. Two says, is twice as many as one. A... Yeah. I, I know. <laughs> Let me read the card. Go ahead a second, bro. <laughs> Uh, put a burden counter on it, and that will that will trigger done. Question though, since it's part of the resolution, it does still yes. No, no, because my so my question is, hold on. If you it activate put, the one ring, it puts the counter on there, but that will that will trigger doubling season. But the one ring still resolved. It's not part of the. It's not part of. It's the, not a trigger. It's a replacement effect. So instead, oh, of, it's not a when. It's yeah. So yeah, if Ted says that's a replacement effect as well, actually I'm good on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's yeah. cool. So draw five, go to seven. You know, low key, low key, I think I might be chilling. You got an instant speed win? Nah, I just, I just think I'm chilling. I'm, I'm chilling. Okay. I'm, I, gotta, I'm, I'm, I definitely don't just have to sit here and think for a second. That's definitely not what's going on <laughs> at all. Yeah. Uh. Uh. Oh yeah, never mind. I'm chilling. I'll cast a fairy mastermind. In response to. In response to the one ring trigger. So one ring trigger on the stack cast fairy mastermind. Yeah. Pass I'm thinking. Uh, what does this do for him? He puts two counters on it. He now gets Kenan. He now gets. I, it lets me stack my one ring so I don't die. Oh. No, but the trigger's already on the stack. Yeah, but it'll have no counters on them. Oh. Because it no, will... it's, it's when it checks, I believe. Uh, yeah, hold on. Let me read it. Let me read it. I'm uh, the one ring is the battlefield. Uh, at the beginning of your upkeep, you lose one life for each burning counter on the run ring. So the it trigger's on the stack. Point. Oh, wait. Yeah, the trigger's I... on the stack. 
I think Kai is right where because if this resolves, he can. Yeah, he can do the bullshits with this. Then I think that's actually I think Kai is right on this one because I'm not sure if I'm right or no, not. No, I'm, no, no. It checks at the beginning of the at the, as soon as the trigger goes on the stack, it checks right there. The only reason I'm, I have to push back on that is because if you if say the trigger goes in the stack with one counter on it and you respond by adding another counter to draw two cards, you'll lose two life. It doesn't is not like because the wording says at the beginning of your upkeep, you lose one life. That's the trigger for each bird encounter on the one ring. But if there's no bird encounters on the one ring, you don't lose life the same way how if you were to increase the bird encounters, you lose more life. If you were to in, in some universe, remove all the bird encounters by some like, I don't know, Orvar bullshit for removal. Or counters. Hex, vampire hex, hex catcher or hex or some game. hex what? BS. There's no counters to be had. I think. Yeah, I think he did get just get around the bullshits. If he if this fairy mastermind resolves, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it still has to resolve. That. Yeah. Uh, the game does not care that the old ring is gone. It will use what's called last known information, which means oh, it okay, okay, what okay. the board state was before the ring left the battlefield. Ooh. It will see the three counters or whatever it is, how many are on it, and it will a player will lose that much. Yeah. Uh, is that you found that in the rules, right? H. If an effect requires information from the game, such as the number of creatures on the battlefield, the answer is determined only once when the effect is applied. If the effect requires information from a specific object, including the source of the ability itself, the effect uses the current information of that object. If it's in the public zone, it was expected to be in. If it's no longer in that zone, or if the effect has moved it from a public zone to a hidden zone, the effect uses the object's last known information. Okay, so what, well, uh, where, where can I find that one rule yet? I love doing this with the viewers. The one a whole lot of words. I was yeah, just listening. Yeah. I heard a lot of words. 608.2H. 608.2H. Okay, hold on. Hold on. So, so, no. so uh, what happens if... I'm going to pull that I one mean, up. I'm, I'm going to look this up. You can look up the exact no, no, no. Like, AK, look, stable. check this out. I'm not trying to argue with you. I just, I'm, I want to, uh, I actually would like to understand this. I actually believe you. I believe you. I just, I like to understand these kind of interactions because I can leverage them when I do like, like shit like this. And it's kind of fun. Um, what happens if you remove the one ring with the trigger oh, on the stack? And then I'm going to pull up your rule. But I just want to look this point up real quick. The, the one ring to confuse them all. That's not, that's not the case. Yes. No, yeah. Go and shoot that rule off one more time. 601. Yeah. I think they're F6. Yeah, I'm fine. It, 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 I, if I can't sack it, I can't sack it. I like it to learn this kind of shit. Fuck, you left? Oh, he, okay. Uh, do you remember what? No, nah, it doesn't matter. Uh, either or, well, he can mana drain it if he doesn't want to deal with it. But yeah. It's up to you. Yeah, since it doesn't really matter, it's they probably won't. But yeah, yeah. Now, if we going off his rule, I guess no. While he's gone, I guess I'm just gonna look this up. Yeah, let's see. How do multiple the one ring triggers go on the stack resolve? That's not it. No, uh, uh, I'm pretty sure they're right. I believe. Cause... I just I want to see it, man. He just spit off a lot of words. I'd like to actually understand. I really I enjoy like this is like fun to me like to I'm gonna tell about Asia Doom tied is this me. <laughs> oh you just gonna okay yeah, yeah, yeah. okay that's simple. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna find this for y'all after the game. I really find it fun to figure out these yeah, fun rules. So can, after the game, yeah. I'll figure I'll, I'm gonna help y'all figure that one out. We're gonna figure this shit out. Yeah. yeah. But ancient tomb, you take two, go down to one. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna tap Tarnish Citadel and Ancient Doom take five. Uh <laughs> cast a cast. Uh, where is it? Am I? Where did it go? It was in my hand a second ago. Am I stupid? Did I, did I read my cards wrong? Probably. I'm not right. Really. But don't you oh, die to state bake actions though? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna cast a word for all the all the things. <laughs> right, 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 right. Yeah. Then, um. Yeah. yeah. He just tapped his ancient tomb out. Uh. Yeah, because I'm Ted, dead anyway. So yeah, it's, it's okay. Yeah. He's I'm gonna good. go to his in, go to the end step, and then we have another uh, tox roll trigger. Yeah. Phantom and stuff. You didn't have a Psychrift? Ooh. Uh, Psychrift says you don't control. No, no, I know, but did you have one in hand? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I could have saved you. Yeah. <laughs> if you would have promised to cast the Psychrift overload. Yeah, well, it is one of those. Oh, you had a trick bind? That was fun. Oh, uh, we have uh, a Toxic okay, trick at the beginning of yeah, the Yeah, that's step. fine. Yep. I'm gonna head to bed. Have a All right. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. We had Nezahal triggers on that last cast you made. 
on no, the world. No, we did not. No, we or, did not. Why is that? Yeah, uh, because I would have died before it would have been able to finish. Oh yeah, you just didn't cast. You just tapped the land. You didn't really cast. Yes. I got you. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. I'm I'm yeah, I'm ahead of it. Can I go? Beast. Tap upkeep and draw, and then I'll just swing for lethal. GG, bro. All right. So, hold on. Let's do this. And we got there. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. So, we got there. That was really dope. We got to see Tox, we got to see uh, Tasker go more in the long game. It was a little tough to navigate the um just the like the long game you know like you know energies go really high and it gets more in the emotions but I, I can actually say this that's actually one of my one like my favorite things about myself when it comes to long games i fucking love long games i can't explain why like i don't get exhausted from super long games even if i'm all the way behind like it's just something to me is just like just let, let's just do it let, let's box <laughs> You know what I'm saying? They're really fun. And I, I like, I'm gonna be fully transparent. They are super, super fun to see. So um, one thing I can definitely say is never give up until you know you can't give up. I mean, you just don't give up. Um, uh, any other things, notes from this game. Uh, it was really cool to see Kai's lifts do its thing, being able to present multiple wins. Uh, I think uh, I think the only misplay I wish we could have had him for the pre for the post game talk. The only misplays I really saw was uh, him replaying his Alanis into the Tox roll on board just to cast it. It caused him to be in the situation where his commander costed too much mana and if he had not cast it the second time the third time i think he actually could have maybe had another mana open i can't remember if he had one or so mana open but it would have caught his commander would have cost two less and he would have done it uh another thing um let's see my my mistake of uh, i learned this game that when it comes with two tox rules on board you want if since i was in seat two and he was in seat three i was able to go my trigger will go on the stack first and his trigger will go on the stack, meaning that his would resolve first and then my would resolve, meaning the 15 or so life that I end up losing actually wasn't a thing. But I'm glad I kept my life down low because it's like I'm going to remember it a lot long. Like I lost literally 14 or 15 life and I was on the brink um, top like that. Um, that what's a giddy when he got rid of the Karn, it was perfect for me because it allowed me to get the machine gods effigy and really just turn into the game and really keep an invincible uh really keep that invincible uh tox roll on board appreciate sean uh so yeah being, being able to keep that invincible tox roll was really good we talked about machine gods effigy a lot of times being able to um what it does with bow masters is really fucking cracked and it just allows you to like have an invincible bow masters have an invincible uh tox roll and really be crazy like one of my peers actually talked about um told me that he took that he's been off tox roll because there's so many clone metas right now there's so many clones in the deck i mean in the meta right now that just the interaction between those tox rolls is just fucking cracked so i'm really glad we got to find that pivot line uh with our opening hand if i can also bring this up one thing that my mistake happened that imperial seal i cast at the very beginning of the game i went to go get a and actually we can bring this up this is a great time to talk about come on some task girl some task girl uh so when here we go when i tutor at the very beginning of the game with the imperial seal i got i got a neoform so neoform that was the card that i got and 
my mistake was I made a, a baby mistake by not um well no like the bio ended up having me cast Neo form so it's it's fine but um basically <laughs> basically uh my, I was gonna use a Neo form cop uh who's the commander Tasker Sean uh I'm using, I'm playing Tasker right now. And actually I'll explain the combo. You know, um, we got Sean in chat saying, who's the commander. So I'm playing Tasker, the uh, Golden Fang. And it basically has, it's a five and a black to cast it. Legendary Human Shaman It is Delve. So I can exile cards from my graveyard to help uh, help me cast it. I can play cast, I can pay two and two Sigmit to mill two cards, then return a Nile land card from my opponent's choice to my graveyard to my hand. Uh, shout out to my dope play um getting my opponent to give me the counter spell the hand in order to stop his win con when i already had the mana drain in hand was really clutch because it allowed me to go force a will taint it pack uh for the uh, no it allowed me to go uh activate with two blue mana open he said like give me i'm like thinking give me the offer you can't refuse and allow me to have an extra counter spell then go mana drain his thing so that was an awesome um an awesome synergy so Oh, nice shine. You know the combo. So I'm gonna share with the I'm gonna share with everybody else. So the reason that I uh tutor for Neo Farm is because I wanted to go for a turn to win. The only problem with this is I first of all I needed four mana to present the win. Uh I mean a turn four, I mean a turn three win, but I needed four mana to present the win. And by the time I drew the city trader, city of traders off the top of my library, which side note, great inclusion to the deck. By the time I drew the City of Traders, it was too late. What I mean as in like, he uh, he had already put down the Karn. Um, and I'll explain why that was already, why it was already too late. So the combo that I was going for, actually you can find in my primer, the primer is still being built right now, but I did the Neofo combo line. And so we will go through this together. How this combo line works is, this combo line allows you to win in one explosive turn with Neoform in hand. Tasker, uh, Neoform in hand, Tasker the Golden Fang on board, four treasures, um, for you have to have four treasure tokens or two colors, a green and a blue, which was the City of Traders plus the Bayou and the Manamo on my board. And I needed uh, these three spells in my deck, which they were Scholar of the Lost Trove, Hoarding Brew Lord, and Saw and Half. So how the combo works is, uh, First, you'll cast Neoform for a green to blue, and you're gonna sacrifice Tasker as an additional cost. You're gonna tutor Scholar of the Lost Trove onto the battlefield. And what Scholar, Scholar of the Lost Trove says, it's a flying 5-5 five, five Sphinx for seven mana. When it enters the battlefield, you may target any instant sorcery or artifact spell in your graveyard and cast it without from your cast it from your graveyard without paying the mana cost. If it's an instant or sorcery spark spell cast this way um, from your graveyard this turn exile instead so how that works is then we're gonna re-get we're, we're, we're then gonna use scholar of the lost choice etb trigger to target through and recast neoform then neo we're gonna uh we're gonna cast it from the graveyard sacrificing scholar of the trove as an additional cost then we're gonna tutor this time sacrificing the scholar of the trove hoarding brood lore into the battlefield no, make sure you put Neoform into exile following the spell's resolution due to Scholar of the Lost Trove's ETB effect. After that, now that we have Hordy Brutlo, Lord's ETB on the stack, we're gonna you we're gonna tutor Saw in half and exile it face down, okay? Uh we're gonna now cast Hordy cast Saw in half uh with um uh, for hoarding brute likes hoarding brute lords convoke cost by tapping hoarding brute lord and paying the two additional colors mana we have targeting hoarding brute lord to destroy and create two new copies of hoarding brute lord now if you're not familiar with hoarding brute lord it's a pretty it's a cool card but it's a little complex uh what hoarding brute lord says is it costs five colorless mana and three black okay it's a dragon and it's a seven six dragon and it has convoke so you can tap your creatures to pay for the color pips if the creature is that color and you can tap your creatures for any color to pay for the colors it has flying and it says when it enters the battlefield search your library for a card exile it face down then shuffle uh, for as long as the card remains exiled you may play it spells you cast from exile has convoke that is how we're able to cheap more cheaply cast the saw in half by tapping Cordy Brew Lord for a black man to help cast saw in half. And we have Sean Rover says, I'm the guy in the group to in the group to build some random ass commander recently. Bo um, recently, Bob 
and fit uh oh boba ritzel boba ritzel boba ritzel for fibble fib oh, i gotta pull that up fibble fib fibble fib i think i got hopefully i spelled that right boba oh my gosh fibble fib mtg uh scry fall let's not talk about my spelling ability right now <laughs> um Fibble fib. Uh, oh, it is actually spelled a lot harder than I thought. <laughs> Boba Rith below them. Bor Bor Igmos and Fibble Fib. Okay, so this is a cool commander. Um, Sean says he recently built it and he's trying to get uh, Yenna Red Tooth region up. Oh, Yenna Red Tooth. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I fuck with this. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Another good commander. It's a new one. Another new one that, uh, that came out in, it looks like this came out in the Wilds of Eldraine set. Okay. And you can choose target enchantment, uh, enchantment you control that doesn't have the same name as another permanent you control. Create a token that's a copy of it, except it isn't legendary. If the token is an aura, untap Yenna, and you get described to activate only as a sorcery. Is this a, it sounds like, it sounds like it's way to be broken. And he's saying, uh, Sean also says, seeing Tasker back uh, and running brings me some joy since he was back in the day doing very well. And I remember, if I remember correctly, yes, he is an OG commander. I got to bring him back. Got to bring him back. And Sean says, that's why I didn't spell it out. <laughs> We're not going to talk about Boberis. Bober oh, my gosh. We're going to do this together. We're going to do this together. Boberigmos. Say it together. Boberigmos. All right. And Fibblethip. Okay. Boberigmos and Fibblethip. Okay. <laughs> With that being said, hold on. Okay. Uh, back to the combo, though. So once we cast on half for the Hoarding Brute Lord's Convoke Pulse uh, ability and tapping two targeting Hoarding Brute Lord, we're going to destroy it. And this is the big thing. If because saw, saw in half, you cannot do this if a Dothy's out. Because if it goes to the graveyard, which it will, because there's we're pretending there's no Dothy out, you're gonna create two new copies of Hoarding Brute Lord and get two new ETBs. Okay. From here, you can use Hoarding the two new Hoarding Brute Lord ETB triggers to find and help cast any two card combo on this deck. This includes and is not limited to Sacrifice and Pier in the Abyss, which is the most common combo you're aware about. You can if you have uh, you can also cast Thassa's Oracle and Tainted Pack and or demonic consultation if you have two blue available you can also do the um go find devoted droid and machine god's effigy if you have three colorless and one green available and you can also find sacrifice and hole breaker horror if you have two mana rocks on board that can net uh that can net slash generate mana and if you have two blue available and one spell with the mana to cast it to begin the bouncing loop quote unquote so that was a little more I don't want to say fringe, but it's a little harder to uh, set up. But at the end of the day, it's really cool to be able to position yourself to say like, OK, say if I don't have sacrifice appear in the abyss in my library because they got exiled or they're in my hand or whatever the fuck reason. If they're in our hand, we're just going to cast them in our hand. But say if we can't do it because we don't have any more black mana or whatever, now we only have blue mana. We can go Thassa's Oracle, Tainted Pact, and t convoke the two black creatures to pay for Tainted Pact and then tap two blue to pay for the Thassa's Oracle. So that's really cool. And then once we get the last section, we're going to go um, we're going to go to the this new section to see how each of these combos work and to see which combos is best to use in whichever scenario you can counter. So I can just basically verbally uh, explain this. How sacrifice works is you're going to sacrifice the Hoarding Brute Lord and uh, you're going to end up making eight black mana. With that eight black mana, you're going to use seven of it floating one black to help cast Pier in the Abyss. With that, you're going to draw half your library. And this is the hardest part of this combo. You have to find a line to win. There's either nine point nine times to 9.8 times out of 10, there will be a line to go for. There is always a line. But <laughs> you have to really take your time and realize like this is where fast man is good. This is why we run Chain of Vapor to be able to bounce all our rocks. If we're already deep in the game and we have a lot of our free mana rocks, all we basically at that point would need a Chain of Vapor and a blue source to be able to bounce all of our stuff. So that's uh, how you do the Pier in the Abyss. It's just really tough because you have half your library in your hand. And I promise you, 
you think oh it's just half a library is it, it's a lot harder because you got to find you because you've already probably dedicated a good sum of mana to make this happen if you're doing it early in the game or if you already tapped out a lot to like to protect the combo with counter magic it can be really tough to really finish there um, the next combo, Thassa's Oracle, Tainted Pact, Demonic Consultation. May I say more? Basically, you Tainted Pact or Demonic Consultation, exile, exile your library with the Thassa's Oracle ETB already on the stack by casting Thassa's Oracle and holding your priority on the ETB and casting Tainted Pact or Demonic Consultation. Okay? Next is Devoted Druid and Machine God's Effigy. How this combo works is you will cast Devoted Druid first for a green uh, and a colorless. And basically, whether as summoning sickness or not, it does not matter. You can use then Machine God's Effigy. It will come in as a copy of Devoted Druid. Um, and because it is not a creature, it taps for blue itself and it is a copy of Devoted Druid, which are tap for green. And you can put infinite minus one minus one counters to re-untap it but because it's not a creature it will not die to state base effects so you tap it for infinite blue and then untap it for the infinite minus one counters minus one minus one counters then you tap it for infinite green and then you can sink that mana into our commander tasker to mill our entire library and then win that sub so, um to win like that the biggest thing to remember though the biggest thing this is the biggest thing you have to to remember that you either have to have Tasker on board or one black mana to cast this, to cast Tasker. Because, and this is the biggest part, if you don't have a black mana, you won't be able to recast man Tasker to be your mana sink and your man infinite mana outlet. So you have to have at least one black mana to do this combo. Um, the last one is Sacrifice of Horty Brew Lord. Basically, you're using Sacrifice to make mana, make uh to make eight mana, you'll float three black and you'll use eight of the black mana to cat to help cast um, the whore breaker whore. And then you will at that point then use uh, the two blue you have floating to cast the whole breaker whore. At this point, if you are since you already have the two mana rocks that generate uh, net and generate inf uh, net and generate mana, as in, for example, a mana crypt and a soul ring, they tap together for four mana, but they only cost one mana cumulatively to call to cast. Another example is Mox Opal and Mana Crypt. They tap for a cumulative three mana, but they only cost zero mana to cast all together. So that's what you want to be able to do. And then you but you need the last part. You need one spell to begin the combo and start looping things over and over and over and you'll cast one float mana bounce one cast one float mana bounce one and you'll do this over and over to have infinite uh, mana of at least green and black or blue and black because um, you need the black to cast your commander don't make infinite mana if you don't have a way to cast your commander it is one of the most embarrassing ways to lose i've done them in a lot of uh i've done a lot of gold fishing and found that i will forget like oh shit i have infinite black and green but i don't uh, have a way to uh, make black mana to cast my commander. And fun fact, that is actually why I took out the Simic Signet out of my deck and I put in the Golgari Signet in its place because I only need infinite green and black or infinite blue and black to infinitely mill myself. Because if you remember, Tasker says you can tap for two colorless and green or two colorless and blue to get it. So that's just a little fun fact why you won't see me running the Simic Signet. We have Steve uh, Sean Rover saying, "Song, uh, song, songbird blessing just kind of goaded." Oh, songbird blessing! What is that card? I've never seen this card. Oh, um, whenever enchanted creature attacks, reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal an aura card. You may put that card into the battlefield if you don't put it on put it into your hand and put the rest at the bottom of your library in a random order. Oh, so I'm guessing this one uh, combos with the commander you brought up earlier, which was uh, Yenna Red, Red Tooth. Okay, that's really cool. I fuck with that. Cool brew. Oh, nice. Yeah. Um, please. Um, I check the link in the bio. Uh, what's it called? Check my link in the bio. I have it, my Instagram page, my Thunder Conductor in Instagram page linked on there. I would love if you send me your list so I can like check it out later, bro. That would be really cool. That and the Bovarik. Bovarik. Oh my. I'm gonna get this together. We're gonna do it together one more time. Bovarigmos and Fibbletith. <laughs> um, drop it to me on Instagram so I can uh, check it out. All right, so very last thing, uh, that's just basically how you do the Horde and Brute Lord combo. And so these are the main combos in the deck itself that we're going for. We did take out 
the we took out the uh dramatic reversal isogram scepter combo it uh and because we have green i think this is better because we don't have to have setup first of all plus we're not casting spells so we can win using devoted druid and machine gods evergy without triggering any ristic studies once we've already created the infinite mana war on the flip side isochron scepter and dramatic reversal has to you know copy and cast the spell each time so unless you have one extra mana to pay for the ristic study you're basically just i'm gonna be fully transparent you're just gonna give them their entire deck and then they will stop you <laughs> uh with that being said this is the neoform combo that i was trying to go for at the beginning of the game and it was cool i just feel like i should have gone for ristic study instead uh it would have been a slow ristic study it really would have it would have been a turn through ristic study maybe i should have gone for fish i probably should have gone for to be honest yeah, I should have Imperial Sealed for Fish. If I'm being fully transparent, I should have Imperial I should have Imperial Sealed for Fish or Ristic Study because I knew I was going to do a turn two Tassiger. But at that point, yeah, I probably just got Fish. I think if I drew a lot of cards, I could have the, the game would have been different. Uh, I will say another play. I really enjoyed the fact that I was able to um, Mind Break Trap the Artifact sack outlet you know if you had if you weren't didn't see earlier we had a brewing session i'm not a brewing session but we did a deck tech on linus and we learned the importance of a artifact sack outlets that let lot that lets linus genetics expert to copy uh, and go infinite if he has a clone effect for example like sakashima and then also oh did he change his deck I don't know. oh we just zoomed in yeah <laughs> Um, if he has a uh, Sakashima that or a um, Spark Devil that comes in as a copy as Linus, if he has an artifact um, sack outlet like for Arcbound Ravager or uh, uh, Extruder, it basically allows him just to do poopy poopy bullshit. And so that's just the thing. So with that being said, what else do we have? Uh, yes. One last thing I want to do before we go, I want to talk to you about my current updates because there's been a lot of updates. I kind of peeked and tweaked uh, and t told you all about a couple, but let's just talk deck updates as of right now. We're not complete yet, but we're getting closer. First switch, we took out, already told you all, we took out Spell Pierce for Mind Break Trap. Do not regret it. Um, this is just another example of where this was really great, being able to Mind Break Trap on turn one. It's a free spell. And because we're playing more of that mid-range control deck, control, tra control strategy that when we're going late in game is just powerful. Um, I love it. It's free interaction on turn one and just deals with those to early at nods wins without having to hold up a blue mana. Next, we took out Miscast for Trick Bind. Trick Bind, in my opinion, is a goaded. It is a, well, let me say this again. Trick Bind is a goaded, um, uh, a goaded piece of interaction, in my opinion. Being able to uh, just Trick Bind a One Ring ability, a Dockside ETB, a Thassa's ETB. You can Trick Bind your own Pact of Negation so you don't die to it on the upkeep. It's so malleable, and it's not, the fact that it's split second, that's my, like, this is kind of leaning to my play style. I love my interaction to say, no, this is the end of conversation. We're not going to have this. That's it. I'm not doing this with you. So being able to, excuse me, excuse me. Oh my gosh. Being able to just put a piece of interaction on the stack and say, no, fuck this. I'm not going to do this anymore. is really powerful to me. Um, we took out the island. I'm being greedy. I'm not running any basics right now. But we took out the island from Anamo. I love doing combat tricks by by swinging with our commander or, or another legendary creature and then untapping at instant speed as well being able to, uh, what what do you call, um, being able to untap the one ring is also a very powerful thing. Next, we took out Waterlog Grove for Lorian Revealed and we ended up actually taking out Lorian Revealed uh, later on Hold on, what the heck happened? Oh yeah, we end up taking Lordy Revealed out for sacrifices. So let me update this real quick. Yeah, so how how I what I basically do, just so you all understand how my mind works. Yeah, there we go. How, how I do this in order, I know we have the history log, but I like doing this because as I update my deck, I just immediately put these changes in here and it's easier for people to see where my mind is. Cause sometimes you'll see the switches, but you don't understand what is being switched out. And also you don't really understand like, why would he make that switch? But if you're able to just take the, like be able to see somebody like, oh, he switched, he switched out these two cards. You'll be able to see more where the person is thinking from. So as we move forward though, 
Um, we'll get the Lorian revealed in a second. Um, I took out Teferi Mask for a time for tallying the Connolly Lord. I just think it's a better draw engine. Uh, not to mention Teferi is just a beat stick to be removed. It's really good because it does get under Grand Abolisher's ability, which only starts art, which only stops artifacts, enchantments, and uh, artifacts, enchantments, and creatures abilities. I think, but it doesn't st uh, stop Planeswalker abilities or land abilities. That's good, and it's cool to draw and discard, but I'm not trying to fill up my graveyard. I'm not on the Tassiger activation plan. Like, I did, like, a cute Tassiger trick by, like, making my opponent give me an extra counter spell when I already had a counter spell in hand, but outside of kind of navigating those situations um, and using the known information of having counter matching in your graveyard, I'm not really trying to get around like that, so that's not really my thing. With that being said, I took it out for Talion the Kindly Lord. Usually, I usually pick two, but one at times can be better depending on power composition. If you know anything about when to choose two versus one, drop it down in the comment section. I would love to know more about that. Uh, next, we have Time Twister. I took that out for Praetor's Grab. Praetor's Grab, um, I'm not a fan of wheels. We've already talked about this multiple times, but I'm not a huge fan of wheels. I think they're not the best. Uh, not to mention Praetor's Grabs is an infinite, uh, is an outlet for our commander where we can, if we've already infinitely activated Tasker, we can infinitely cast um, Praetor's Grabs to exile all the cards in our opponent's libraries, either play their win cons or just pass turn and their libraries exiled to empty. Next is Gilded Drake. Took that out for Devoted Druid just to add another combo on the deck. Um, next, we took out, uh, we've already talked about Devoted Druid. Um, I'm not against Gilded Drake. It's just a lot easier to play around Gilded Drake with so many clones in the meta right now. You could take someone commander that can play a clone next turn, copy your Gilded Drake, and take it back. So it's not as good. I don't think so right now because we're playing so many clones. Um, and I love also, I love Devoted Druid because it can be a, a mana dork for two mana, which is not the best, but it's solid. And it can be a combo piece. And the same way Machines got Evashi is just a multi-use thing, okay? Next, we took out uh, Toxic Deluge for Machine God's Evagy, and you say, TTC, why the fuck are you taking out a board wipe, a staple in our format? Um, I just deck had too many board wipes. If I'm being fully transparent, it just had too many board wipes. Like, it, it, look at this. It has Toxrul the Corrosive. We've already just got done with that gameplay. Toxrul is really good, especially if you can have an unkillable one. Um, we have culling the rich uh culling ritual which is a great board wipe plus it is a ritual spell to help us be explosive to cast that peer in the bills peer in the abyss or a hoarding rule or whatever the fuck we want to cast then we have a, um an overloaded cyclonic river which is an instant board wipe yes it's for seven mana but we've already shown we have the capability of making seven mana and then the very last one is a baby board wipe temporary board wipe with march of swirling mist which can be cast for only one blue mana and pitching blue spells in our hand depending what our card draw was that game at that point i just didn't feel like like I needed another board wipe in it. Um, we have Sean Rover saying, if you don't run basics, maybe a hermit druid. Ooh. Hmm, that's actually interesting. I could go hermit druid Thassas. Well, my only thing is, so uh, drop down below. I want to. I want to hear your mind on this. How many? And I call. How many dead cards do I have to run with hermit druid? Because if I cast at sorcery speed, then. People are going to remove it if I have Thassa's. It does make another combo with it, but it's like, what would I use Hermit Druid for outside of trying to go Thassa's? And Sean Rovar said, I kind of somewhat sort of play Storm or just low CMC stuff. I've found myself stuck uh, at like three cards or so. Hold on with it. He's saying, I kind of somewhat sort of play Storm or low CMC stuff. I've kind of found myself stuck like three cards or so. What commanders uh, do you play? Oh, you've already told us. Well, I mean, this I'll say for the green white commander is kind of tough. You got to, I believe it has some type of card advantage. The blue commander, what, uh, if you, this, that's kind of more leaning on making sure you can mulligan well enough to get a Ristic or Mystic down, you know, or some type or one ring or something to like really get the card draw going. Um, oh, he and Sean and Ray Rover saying that's why I use Will. Sorry. Oh, okay. That makes sense. He, he didn't completely send out. He, yes, I hear, I hear that argument over playing wheels for it. I can hear that argument. I, they're not really my thing, but I mulligan for draw engines. Like, um, I can even use my Marnius list as a better example. Uh, let's go to my Marnius list as an example. 
because this my marty's list is a better example of what like mulliganing for super draw engines look like my marty's list is basically i call it esper farm because i basically just want to draw the best cards i mean just draw a bunch of cards so i basically am looking for esper sentinel mangara uh lotho if i can get my commander down on on by turn two to three um talion uh, i'm looking for maybe phyrexian metamorph if i think i'm gonna see some one rings i'll put down a uh also i'm also looking for early Rhystic Study or Mystic Remoras or a Smothering Tide if I can get that down early up to go along with my commander. And what I'm saying all these examples are these are major draw engines to allow me to drop my minor stacks pieces but really just draw a shit ton of cards to stay in the game. That's what the whole objective is and the point of it is. And that's why I really don't have to like lean too hard on the draw engines like even in this deck. This deck can be explosive and win so fast unlike my Marty deck that takes a little bit longer to win. This one can win so fast, like literally I can pull a win on turn two if I open if I have a Neo form in my opening hand that like I have the major draw engines like the Talion, the Ristic, and the Mystic, but I can also just, you know, purely just just win. You know what I'm saying? In a very explosive fashion. So that's my opinion on wheels, but I'm not gonna call them uh pulley bullshit. Um Yeah. The Halda is is the only um, is is the only i can drop my hand fast yeah yeah the uh the 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 halda you mean the hada or the halda or do you mean the hada oh, not the giada the the hada i think you mean the hada yeah, yeah the hada is cool i like this actually this is very fast yeah, the hot is a great deck. Um, actually, in my top four game, in my top sixteen game, my last Mox Masters, I played against the Hada seat one, and then the one I won that game. It was fucking crazy um, with a smothering top Marnius combo. But what I did was turn one Marnie. I mean, turn one Dranith, turn two. Uh, what's that new white stacks piece that cucks artifacts? turn to uh dauntless dismantler and that allowed me to completely just shut the game down completely it was yeah by the time i got my engine online it was disgusting yeah uh yeah the drick the dr dry lexia and the sleep deprivation the oh the dyslexia and sleep dev uh is a this th this dyslexia and sleep deprivation is a great mix <laughs> let's see uh what you mean by that hmm okay um back to this though uh basically oh point about saying i don't run wheels because i have major draw engines i don't want to give my car my opponents that many cards so neither here nor there with that being said we have uh gilded drake um we're doing devoted Druid over gilded drake we're doing toxic deluge over um machine god's effigy and then I've already explained about that. My machine guys effigy is just good as a combo piece. It's good by itself. It's just good in general. Like what else do you want to say? Next we have Gitaxian Probe. Uh, we took Gitaxian Probe out for Noxious Revival uh, as a recovery piece and as a free interaction. That's instant speed. I like Gitaxian Probe, but I also do like the Noxious Revival as well. Just I've been running it and I haven't missed Gitaxian Probe. Um, we took out Sigmit, Simic Signet for Golgari Signet um, because I've talked about this earlier. When we make infinite mana, we don't need infinite green and blue. We need either black and blue, blue or black and green. So that switch out was really great for us because we when we went whole breaker horror, we can make and we don't have a commander on board. We can make the infinite black and green and colorless and then cast our commander and uh, draw draw our whole library. We. Uh, <laughs> Sean Rover said, nah, I just made a joke with my atrocious spelling. <laughs> it's okay, bro. Look, look, look. We're going to say it together again because, look, I'm going to be honest. I, um, I, I, my, I, I know how to read. I know how to spell. It's just sometimes we all have those moments. It's completely fine. <laughs> Because I laugh because like there'll be times like when I was like fibble fib. I'm looking like this can't be as hard as I think it's the is the spell. And I'm like, no, this is way harder than I thought it was. But neither here nor there. 
Um, as we keep going, we've already talked about this. We took Dramatic Reversal out for Witch Call Talisman, and then we end up taking that out for the Hoarding Brute Lord. This is the beginning of us going, adding that Hoarding Brute Lord line. Same thing with Isochron Scepter. We took Isochron Scepter, Scepter out for Reanimate, and then we took Reanimate out for Pier in the Abyss. Okay? We also took out Karn the Great Creator for Manglehorn. I initially, this was just a quick switch out. Nothing that's wrong against Karn, but the fact that it's so easily removed by purely just creature beats is not my favorite. And it's easier to counter on the stack. Not to mention Manglehorn had that removal on the stick. Not to mention it slowed my opponents down. I don't need to stop them. I just need to slow them down. And I actually want to add it back, but I just don't know what to switch out uh, with it. I'm thinking of possibly adding, uh, what's it called? Top, possibly adding mango horn back I'm, I'm thinking about it um but with that said i mean i won the game so obviously i didn't need it um <laughs> mango horn and i ended up taking mango horn out for saw and half so it sucked but we're going more turbo mid-range so i don't mind the fact that we lost that next water log rolls we took that out for lowering revealed i love taking out one land for uh lowering revealed because it's the it's just another fetch land so it synergizes with the delve ability of our commander not to mention Okay, until y'all are in a game where you have no blue cards in your hand and you top deck a Lorian reveal to pitch to your force of negation, force of will, or march of swirling mist, I don't want to hear any comments about Lorian reveals. Not to mention if you're on a shit ton of if you're on a shit ton of mana and say you're on a winning turn and you want to go like, okay, I'm gonna go vampiric tutor and then I have like a shit ton of mana, I'm gonna Lorian reveal for five minutes and draw the, the vampiric tutor card, but it's a, that's a little more fringe and niche, but the biggest thing is having a land that basically can pitch away. And so I actually went down the land. I'm, I'm officially on 28 lands um, to add sacrifice because I saw, okay, if I'm going to take a land out, at least add a ritual into the deck. Um, it's been a little painful. Um, if our card draw isn't the best, we don't draw more cards, but I've never seen that. I haven't seen sacrifice in a hand where I wanted another land drop, possibly thinking about going back up to 29 lands. Cause this deck does kind of want to go mid range with a turbo potential. So we'll see with that as we keep playing. Um, we took Jace Vrin, uh, Vrin's Prodigy out the deck straight up because it's like, I'm be honest, I'm not trying to discard cards. I'm not trying to cycle and just. Dump. I'm not trying to give my opponents that control over me. Even if I can, I've shown I can politic into using Tassiger um, quite well, but it's just, it just not. Nah. It's just not good enough. I took it out originally for Kane Bottom Prodigy because I saw a lot of Tasker deaths running it, but I didn't really get it. And uh, even then, you can have Ken and Basal in your deck, but the thing is, though, you're only making colors mana, and you have to now find a third card. Now it's a three-card combo, and it's just like, eh. So I took Ken out for Muddle to make sure to add more counter magic, but even more, have another tutor. And so what I end up doing is taking Muddle the Muddle and the Mixture out, and it hurt to do this because Muddle the Mixture is one of my pet blue cards. I love tutors, and I also love mono-colored decks. I have a mono-colored Teferi deck, and it's one of my favorite decks, and I still have it right here <laughs> but i let it um i let muddle the mixture go in my marnius and in this deck when you're playing black it's just it's hard to make an argument for muddle in the mixture um so i took muddle the mixture out and added scholar of the lost trove because it's part of the combo um next i took out dolphy vort walker this was super super hard to take out um but in gameplay it always felt awkward to cast because usually i have to tap out all of my color sources to cast dolphy and i just didn't really much like that if i were to add any either one of these back i would probably add uh what's it called um manglehorn back in maybe over spell seeker which is by the way the car we took dothy board walker out my idea is depending on what our opening hand looks like spell seeker can go help us get counter magic and or help us get our combo piece which is neo foreign straight to our hand moving us more towards trying to play our game plan but because it's so malleable and so uh flexible with what we can do i just thought it was a good include and i haven't hated it yet uh we didn't get to see it this last game uh, this was our first game since the change, but it's cool. I, I, I've enjoyed it. And my favorite part, to be honest, I love having a sister on the game, like a sister on a car, like and a lot of black characters in magic and seeing like a sister on a car. It just brings me life. Uh, next we have nurturing peatlands. I took that out for emergent zone. And then I took emergent zone off for cabal pit. And then when we moved towards the more of the turbo variant, just a little bit, I had a city of traders in, um, and this game was actually a great game where me having that extra colorless land came in very much in clutch because it allowed me even though i didn't uh 
I never made another land drop the entire game I was only on three like I maxed out at three lands but when I had my went with the mixture of artifacts plus the city traders I was actually able to cast that you all saw the Neza Hall Primal Tide and still have the blue mana open for the um, offer you can't refuse that the blue player gave me while he had the mana drain under the Isochron Scepter so it was really fucking crazy um, next we have Ledger Shredder uh we took that out i wanted to try to work with it, it just really wasn't my thing this is a really big of a big flex slot for me right now i don't think ledger shredder is bad i just like i said trying to put a bunch of cards in the graveyard to get better selections for tasker is not good in my opinion that's just me if you seaborn tasker is different seaborn um Toxtral is different uh but i just took ledger shredder out because i'm like it's okay i have enough flyers i'm good um, I added in copy artifact because I enjoy that card um, with the one ring in our meta and also at when I was running Isochron Scepter Traumatic Reversal having another uh, mana rock that mana rock quote unquote that I can either copy from my opponents or for myself which is really good but I end up taking this me uh, this out to add in for actually metamorph this is a huge flex slot, flex slot for me part of me wants to instead add in um, imposter mech but I'm just kind of, I want to add a clone effect in this, but I'm just kind of on the wall about it. I'm unsure exactly how I want to navigate this, but as of right now, Phyrexian Metamorph is really doing a great job at just being what it needs to be, whether it's pitching to a blue for another blue spell or copying a one ring or copying the troublesome creature. Um, this game, the reason I would think hard about doing the, uh, what is it called? doing the imposter mech over this is because we just had a, an example of a game where though imposter mech only can copy our opponent's creatures in, and not our own this is an example of where having an uh an unkillable quote-unquote uh version of uh of a creature i.e having an unkillable tox roll with machine gods FG is really good and our what's it called could have done the same could do the same thing our um Machines God's FG does the exact same thing. So it's, I just like that synergy. That's fun to me. Like, I love, like, don't, like, we're not going to talk about this. It's over. Like, I bring up my trick, my love of trick bind and channel abilities are just good generically. And so, yeah, right now we're running the Frexion Metamorph. But if y'all know any better calm effects, let me know. But as of right now, being able to pay three mana and two life just to copy a one ring is good to me. Uh, and just sometimes the three man is funny. Like I, I want to still be able to hold up interaction and three men is sometimes too steep, even on turn one and turn two, depending on what my mulligans look like. But with that said, oh, excuse me. But with that said, that is it for today. We just had a great, another great stream. Gameplay was solid. Being able to see the Linus deck do his thing, he actually presented the most wins this entire game. And honestly, without the without the deck tech, we honestly would have lost that game. So it was crazy to be able to get there. It took a while, but we got there. And just shows once again, having a four or five beat stick is great. Having these big haymakers in the deck to say, okay, if you want to make the game long go long, if you want to stack us out, that's fine. We will we will play the beat strategy and being able to just to win through combat damage. It's just never, it, it can't compare to anything else. But with that said, that is it. If you're on YouTube, make sure you like, subscribe, and ring the bell. If you're on Twitch, please follow us and please hit that bell. We stream every uh, Saturday evening at 8.30 Central Standard Time, and we just have a blast doing it. So if you want to see more content, make sure to check us out on YouTube and Twitch. Lastly, if you're looking for ways to support because you just love the stream so much, we have three main ways. Number one, we have our Thunder Conductors Paperback Proxies where we supply these premium paperback quality proxies <laughs> for a very reasonable price. This is my way to increase access to the amazing, um, what to this amazing format called uh, CDH. You can get a full deck of CDH cards for about 75 bucks instead of paying, may, may I, may I, uh, hold on. Let's, uh, let's look at this. Um, thir $3,800, I'd rather pay $75. Uh, I'd rather pay $75 than, $3,800, nah, y'all can have that. Um, also, uh, we also have our Thunder Conductor community. Come join me on Discord, it's free. It's just free access, we just all chilling and having a good time. And the, but the thing is though, if you want deeper access to Discord and additional perks that just come with just being great, um, we have our Thunder Conductor community where you can get additional perks and access to the deep uh, dive 
our we i want to say thank you to dre to being our first patreon subscriber it was so dope for him to do this and he's keeping the lights on in a way that he can't even understand very lastly if you don't want to be part of the patreon and you don't care about the perks and you're saying ttc I, I don't need any more cards right now i have enough you just i just want to bless you one time for the fun time check us out link in the bio you can just buy me a coffee it's another way to support the channel and keep the lights going and keep this amazing show going so with that being said i love y'all y'all be easy peace